then we're red. Well, let's let's put that. So that we'll make that. Um, there we go. The thing Maybe we do after we get sound. Slip around. <laughs> right okay, we'll, we'll get we'll sound that. first. <laughs> so Priorities, jeez. There we go. Okay, I got. <gasps> Yay! 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 All right. Everybody, get back into character real quick. Oh, guys, you missed all the good stuff. All right, here we go. Guys, welcome once again. I better not be so loud. Guys, welcome <laughs> once again to Never Tell Me the Odds, the Star Wars RPG podcast. A podcast for a group of nerds, comedians, improvisers. Oh, and did I say nerds? Play nerds. through the Star Wars RPG by <laughs> Fantasy Flight Games. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging around. Temporary technical difficulties. Surely that will never happen again. <laughs> nope, never. <laughs> so, uh, tonight we are playing, yes, uh, as you guys have no doubt picked up, we're continuing our Star Wars noir game. Star Wars? Star Noir Wars? Noir Wars? Sam mentioned Noir Wars, and I might yeah. like that better, but it's Noir Star Wars. <laughs> Noir Welcome Wars is better. To Noir That's better. Wars. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are watching Noir Wars tonight. <laughs> um, we are wrapping up our little three episode run tonight. So, who will betray who? Where do a lot of secret allegiances lie? It is taking place on the planet of Coruscant, heart of the Empire, the city planet itself during the height of the Empire's power. Just before, uh, probably just before Rogue One, a Star Wars story takes place. Okay, just like before anybody did anything. The Empire is finishing the completion of the Death Star. The Emperor's power is complete over the galaxy. It's looking good. You're cops. Beat cops. That's none of your concern. You're just trying to keep the city safe. Well, three of you are cops. Plus Tyler's character, Tyler Rhodes, who's playing... Well, we'll get to who he's playing in a minute. And a fourth who's joining us tonight. Let's go around the table. If you guys want to introduce who you are and who your character is, we'll get right into it. And I like when we have new characters at the table to start with Talene. So Talene, go ahead <laughs> do our intro. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Talene, and I'm here tonight playing Zeuma, washed up detective, been on the force too long, too long. Looking down the barrel of retirement, I've got 45 days. Shenanigans, though. Uh, shenanigans happening everywhere. Shenanigans happening everywhere. Cla a more noir phrase has never been uttered. Thank you. I, mean, I think that was the name of a Philip, Narlo <laughs> Philip Marlowe novel, right? Right. Sh shenanigans. shenanigans. The long goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> For all my lovely shenanigans happening everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> shenanigans happening everywhere. Also, we should all. Uh, I can't. I don't know what I was going to say. But I agree. I with started that. with something. No, yeah. no. So I tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about. So you're playing Z, Z Umba. Related to A.R. Umba, Z. Umba rejects gender, wearing a shapeless Mao-type suit with a tie and a fedora, yeah. smokes a lot of death sticks, and has tons of pamphlets for the different uh, planets where Z might retire to. All they need is a bar and a bar stool. Maybe not even a bar stool. <laughs> Z might sit on the ground <laughs> to drink. It doesn't matter. That's retirement for Z? As long as there's alcohol and death sticks. I think we should point and out a that pension. it's <laughs> true that you are, uh, no one can determine your gender or possibly you are genderless. You wear a utilitarian smock yep. and are absolutely like... Can't tell. No, and people are all over you in all these games. I am You're a so real, sexually attractive. Extremely attractive <laughs> to I am super, many NPCs. I haven't had much chance to deduce people in this particular incarnation of the game, but if I tried to, I could. Okay. And, okay. I'd, and even if they thought they were one thing or another, they'd be confused and incredibly drawn to me. Does yes, Non-binary yes. people are just really super sexy. It's mm -hmm. known. It's, it's just a <laughs> known it's quantity. of life. Right. Yeah. So, so it's the mystery. Z, when Z is working on the force on the job, yeah. is Z wearing like a utilitarian smock or do you wear your actual like officer standard issue cor uh, Coruscant police Here's the thing. Uniform? Every time they try to give me an officer assigned smock, I put it on. I do no alterations and it turns into a utilitarian smock. So there are no <laughs> My body rejects communicating gender of any kind. I like it's, it. It's just what happens. I don't even try. It's not like I go around saying I have no gender. It's just nothing comes out of me. I like it. So that's that's who you are. Relatable. That's what you're wearing. Yes. You're a police officer on oh. the job, and you are currently standing on a rooftop in one of the lowest I'm levels of Coruscant. Not course. happy about this. You are like a thousand five hundred levels down, deep core. No light makes it this far down. I mean, you have to go up 
like a thousand levels to get to an area where you could even see like a little postage stamp sized bit of sky. It's just caves of massive buildings, essentially. Huge towers that rise up overhead and form together to form like cathedral type spaces filled with just constant traffic, streams of traffic. The lawless black sun ruled zone. It's kind of a little section of mafia controlled empire. Standing right next to you on this rooftop is K8LN. It's a K2SO droid who's uh, been on Coruscant a little too long and is on the verge of being shut down. Doesn't want to be shut down, so she's going to do her job as best she can to get things done. I like it. Okay, K2SO type droid. Mm -hmm. uh, remind everybody what kind of droid that would be. That's the one from uh, Rogue One. It was Alan Tudyk's character. The, it's a good droid. It's a good droid, yeah. Okay, so I got shorter arms, arms though. Yeah. yeah, you got extended arms. I can pull them in and so what? I'm normally size and legs. Or, you know, stick them out. And you've been on the force as long or longer then? Z Probably as long, but never in the same department. Like, she was in one precinct, I was in another, but. Z Umba has done 49 years and however many days short. 52. Of <laughs> however many days this year is, minus 45. 45, that's right. Okay. And I'm not even counting weekends. So you're. I'm gonna work straight through. No weekend till I retire. No sleep till Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So okay, gotcha. And you're a beat up, battered looking droid who just right. doesn't. Okay. Oh, ashes. That's. Oh, no. And <laughs> also sometimes your ashtray. You sometimes. Your ashtray. <laughs> Listen, if you had seen this droid, you'd know that an ashtray is something for it to aspire to, not sure. something. Oh, <laughs> I will Making remember friends. that. <laughs> so yeah. K eight LN is down there on this rooftop as well in the darkness, forced. To work together through circumstance. Circumstance. Yeah. My kind partners of have been taken. Your what? My partners have been taken. They've yes. been on a medical leave. Mm -hmm. Your partners have been taken. Mm -hmm. Your entire department, both of your departments, kind of have framed you. Yes, medical leave. Uh, the imperial decree has come down that they need to quarantine you, you, and the next person standing next to you on this rooftop. Who is else? Uh, who else is up there? Who is? Me. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm Kelsey, and I am going to be playing Gloria Hyde, the resident spy. Uh, she likes to have all kinds of cool little gadgets, so she has a blaster rifle disguised as an umbrella. <clears throat> oh, wait, you got another one? I, uh, I think I remade it, yeah, because I had somebody's rifle. Somebody decided to confiscate it from me, which was rude. <laughs> she did decide to do that. I've me raid, me, me raid, remade, one of those words. Yeah, you me raid it. Uh, you me raid it. <laughs> I me raid my gun. Uh, I also have a Viber knife disguised as a tube of lipstick, a data pad disguised as a makeup compact, and uh, what, what, oh, and uh, now I have my oh, calm okay. earrings, so I have a calm in my ear, but it looks like just earrings, oh. so. Okay, and aside from your gear, what do you kind of... What's her deal? Yeah. <laughs> Describe. Other than your stuff, yeah. what are you as a person? <laughs> um, I am my belongings. No. Um, she prides herself in always looking spick and span and having her face and her hair done. And uh, she thinks that she's a little bit more sociable than she really is. Uh, she's mostly just able to do, like, computer techie things. So, yeah. That's sort of her in a nutshell, I think. Did I miss anything? Did I leave anything? About it. Is there a, an actor or actress that you resemble, your character resembles? Uh, We've never gotten into that, have we? Yeah, no, not that I could think of off the top of my head. Do you look like uh, the chick agent, what's her guy, Smith? The TV show? Carter. Carter, that's the one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Peggy Carter. Peggy Carter, yeah. Oh. Peggy Carter? Could you like housewifey and yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect very, makeup? Yeah. What, what mm -hmm. was but, okay. Yeah. Okay. The three of you are meeting in the depths of the Coruscant night. Again, the only thing you hear overhead is the constant rush of traffic whizzing every which way. No regard for air traffic safety. Just speeders. A <laughs> couple hundred feet overhead. You're standing on the more or less exposed rooftop of a short squat tower, thick walls, bunch of like little smokestacks and stuff coming out the top that are just letting vapor up. That makes it a little bit hard to see the figure approaching you from the mists. That is our fourth at the table. Would you mind introducing yourself and your character? 
Hello, I'm Sam DeLev. I'm very excited to return to Saving Throw Show. This is my second time after the charity stream that I was able to join for a one shot. Um, you may know me from Geek and Sundry, where I play Junial Rue on Shield of Tomorrow, the Star Trek RPG. Boo, or... boo, Star Trek, <laughs> Star Wars. No, I'm just kidding. False dichotomies, I say unto thee, sir. Amazing. Very good, yes, exactly. Um, cool. And um, Vast, where I play Mersa Dolcet. I am thrilled to be here for this game of Star Wars. And I am playing a character we are going to learn about. Well, today. let's learn about it. Well, actually, let's give it one second. So uh, <laughs> before we leap into the intense drama, I do want to address briefly, well, a couple things. One, it's a saving throw. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can totally follow us on Twitter at Saving Throw. Uh, but you can also, uh, you'll see throughout the night, we're going to get donations. In fact, I have one right here. So these are donations that you, the chat, can influence the game through. Go ahead, feel free to spend either your XP to buy us rerolls or triumphs or despairs. Mostly me, I should be getting those bots. Yes, this side. Because it makes the game nope. more interesting you when you give them to me and when they do, get everything they want. All and, over here. Yeah. Huh? Huh? No. Okay. You can also follow us on Patreon at patreon.com slash saving throw show. Even if you never donate to us here, consider a dollar a month. That does so much as a vote of confidence that you like what we're doing and that you want to see more of this cool stuff and keep us in fedoras. Look, only three of the five of us have fedoras. That's sad. Dollar a month, you could change that. And uh, the last thing I kind of wanted to mention. The fedora fun. Yeah, the fedora fun. I know. I mean, how else do you get fedoras? Oh, my God, by the way. I'm a, this this will come them. back. This will come back for a different character, but for now, it stays safely there. Chief, okay. I don't even recognize you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, where'd TM go? <laughs> right? <laughs> Last uh, thing, something a little different for this session. Uh, secrets and shenanigans. Secrets and shenanigans! Secrets and shenanigans. So there's another way for you guys to influence the game this time around. There are uh, uh, straw polls, but that doesn't sound good. You guys are voting on branching paths. You're voting on outcomes. Most of them are binary decisions. They're in these envelopes. Boo, yes. Boo binary. There are, some, no. there are a few trinary or, or quadrary decisions, but yes, there. Are, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a branching path situation. It's like Kotor, but in real life. Yes, Kotor yes, IRL. it exactly is. It's exactly like yes. If you ever played the Knights of the Old Republic game, where you're like, do you want to kill the slave? Let the slave go. And you're like, go kill it. Uh, I could never do that in a Bioware game. Like, I yeah, could never either. go for all the really, really cool dark side powers because you have to be such a dick. Mm. Yeah, it really, yeah, like, it's I kind of lame. It's so There's too much light in you, Sam. Oh. Guys, so I'm, I'm going to hand <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm going to hand out. Now, there, I've written little notes to let me know which one to uh, tell you to one open. One of them says bra. Yes, that's a, those are a acronyms that mean something to me and just doesn't have anything to actually do with bra. Hold it, but here's the number of bra. Yeah, that's, that's not what, what it is. Hey, bra. I'm going to hand each of you a stick for you, bra. I'm going to hand each of you a stack of, there's going to be every half hour or more, I think we've got another one coming up here in a moment, but basically every half hour there's going to be an event that you can vote on. Please vote if you are in chat, even if you're just stopping by and you're not a regular subscriber, you can still vote. Um, so just Influence the game, guys. We'd love it. Sam, hang on to those two envelopes. Don't open one until I tell you to. I will not. Kate. Ooh, we got 15. Thank you, Gnarly Fancy Pants. Ooh. Can I roll for you, Fancy Pants? That's so well for me. Sure. Also, so a donation from the Bard. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, yeah. Bard, Bard 1971. That's the best. Right. That was a very good year for a Bard. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, I have a one reroll left over from last time. Ooh. You don't get to use it. <gasps> Making friends at this table, wow. Yeah, it's vicious. Noir, it's vicious. <laughs> <laughs> noir wars. Mm. No. Noir wars. Those, uh, <laughs> those whales with the horns. Fight against a narwhal. Oh, it's a narwhal. Uh, <laughs> they're fighting Gloria? like sword fights. Yeah. Hang on to those. Okay. Oh, man. Great. Uh, so let me quickly get to some of our donations. Bard, the, the Bard, 1971. The bard. Always mm -hmm. happy to see you there. Gives a reroll to Talene. Aww. Thank you. There it is. For the subscription. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's mine now. Oh, you didn't catch it. And how about you give me that one from last time, too? <sighs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Please hand that to Talene. Thank hand you. That to I give up. Thank you. The Bard 1971 Thank you, Bard. also has donated to give Talene a boost die. 
Wow. wow. Thank you, sir. Someone's got a Cash fan. that in. Yeah. Right? Uh, Sam, since you're new and you came out this game and you managed to dress up, which is awesome. It is awesome. I'm going to give you two boost die. Ooh. Cash those in anytime you want to add a boost die to a roll. All right. Our time yes. is all messed as long up as you now. Want. When I'm really bad at things. All right, excellent. Oh, well, this is worth nothing now. Throw. <laughs> How would you guys pronounce the person who just donated? General Fancy Pants. Not gnarly? I like gnarly. No, I like, I like general. General can, Fancy Pants. You can call him gnarly yeah. Fancy Pants, but I'm pretty sure it's General Fancy Pants. You're probably pants right. General my many interactions with him in chat. <laughs> oh, general Fancy Pants. Thank you. That's a huge donation, and that's three rules to Sam. Wow! Oh, my goodness. Nice. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Hang on to those coins. Oh, Whenever oh you gosh. want to re-roll your whole pool of dice. Yeah, when I've just really goofed. Yeah. Thank you so much. It will not save me from certain death, but like <laughs> it'll prolong the inevitable, and I'm excited about that. Isaiah, I need the the results from the first poll posted back. I didn't see what they were before you deleted them. I didn't tell you yet. Oh, oh my screen turned off then, maybe. Let's see. Uh, my screen turned off. Technology. They're right here. Wow. They're right here, Isaiah. They're I was right trying here. to Good job, Isaiah. Some people. We've They're right it. here. They're right there on my screen. <laughs> yeah. um, Three re-rolls to you, so anytime you want, there is one caveat, an important caveat. If you roll your dice and a triumph comes up, that cannot be re-rolled. Oh. Or... Same as if a despair comes up. So you got to live and die by your triumphs and despairs. Mostly die. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, great. So we have our first poll has just come through. Guys, I want to buy more ties. I like that. All right, do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Up Ties your tie game. Ties are great. Oh, I also wow. love that tie. Also, okay, I, I love this. I always love this, this whole tie. ensemble. Boy, thank you. Yeah. I, I enjoy it as well. <laughs> I get the me. loose color. Yeah. It's sort of like, oh, Bonnie Millerish. Yeah. In the first, and that blue is a good blue for you. In the, the first tie, poll, do I? No, I don't enjoy it. The first poll is just to decide who. Everything. Everything Mary? about it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> okay. Right the first poll has been decided. One of you at the table is married. I'm going to give you the green envelope. We actually have four possible green envelopes to determine who you're married oh, to. Oh, it's like Bachelorette. <laughs> it is. Uh, not someone at this table. This is an off-screen NPC. Mm -hmm. In order to give this kind of a hard-boiled cop noir feel, anytime you bring up your spouse during the like course of the game, you could automatically add a boost die onto your roll. So feel free to bring up every roll if you want to, but you have to organically bring up your spouse okay. somehow. Uh -oh. Something bum ticker. I feel like that's easy. the old battle. Like so, my wife. Mace, uh, go ahead <laughs> and. Oh. We have four. I don't know if I worked a mechanic in to decide which one of these you get. Go ahead and take those four. Um, the droid gets a wife. Well, one of my, did one of the husband. straw polls vote on, oh, let me pull or, it up. Or spouse. Or spouse, yeah. Yeah, could be like an amorphous blob. It's a spouse, right? yeah. So you might be, it might be, uh, there's a variety of options here. I'm going to pull them up just to remind myself what we have. Pull them up. Pull them See, it's up. Funny it's this a is poll. killing me. <laughs> guys, pull guys, if up. I was in no, chat, no. I would have also voted for the droid to have a spouse. <laughs> So, yeah, strong work. <laughs> we approve. Nailed it. Nailed oh, wow. wait a minute. Oh, oh, so the second one hasn't come in yet, right? <laughs> well, we'll see. The second um, poll? Is, I, can, I can let it go for like another five, ten minutes. If you want to Please do. Okay, hang on to those for a second. Oh. I need those back. Oh. You said hold on to them. <laughs> you need those back. It's I got a trick. my. Oh. Oh. It's a trap. <laughs> I, I was sure waiting. It's a trap. Oh, that was like so natural, and I said trick and said trick. There we go. That's the second one. Okay, so I'm going to hand those out in a second. Okay, so before I do that, I have the special first envelope. So many love, secrets and shenanigans. Lights. Okay, so all we know at this point is, Mason, you're married. Yay. The result of who you're married to is going to come up, and we'll hand you that out. Married to the GM. That's amazing. <laughs> Kelsey, this envelope is for you. Oh. You can open that and read that now if you like. Now, Ooh. okay. That's from another poll result. Thank you for voting, guys. We're going to let the next voting one run is important. for another couple it minutes. It is important. And with that, as you're reading that, oh, please, let's get into this game, guys. We yeah. are going to keep your characters frozen Let's on the play rooftop some noir wars. Allow me to so great. part the steaming mists of reality. So this is not this room in Southern California. The walls vanish, there's darkness and steam rising up in front of you as the three of you step forward cautiously, step after step, pushing the steam out of the way, feeling the humidity way down here on these lower levels, hearing the buzz and the hum of traffic, probably feeling, for those of you who are organic, a little bit of hunger in the pit of your stomach. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you ate? When was the last time you had a good cup of coffee? Who's tired? Who's beat? Who didn't sleep well last night? I was. I got up tired. I mean, you're a beat cop. I'm, so. ha. I'm a detective. <laughs> I'm a beat detective. 
<laughs> Detective. You're looking good, as always. Yeah. Thanks. Are Thanks. you powdering up as you step forward? Oh. Your character's looking <laughs> yeah. good. I have no opinion on you. <laughs> <laughs> as a proper GM. That's the way it should be. Kate, I, I'm a little upset about all this humidity, but other than that. It's Kate, which, okay. which gear, which servo is acting up on you today? It's actually my hip. Mm. Mm. I know yeah. that one. Okay, it's so kind of my hip's acting kinks into it, and I have to you hear that lean click. back. <laughs> yeah. So you hear that click. Yeah. And exactly. as, you guys, as you guys push this mist out of the way, oh, there is a figure waiting for you right where that encrypted data file that you received said that they would be. And a voice calls out to you from the shadows. That's you. Oh, you're the ones I've been waiting for. Well, well, yes. Uh, and you see standing there casually, as if waiting. Mm. You Leaned up against the wall of the alley. Do you want to describe who they see? Yes, they see a fairly tall figure, dark eyes, Long hair shaved on one side, and there's a small dark handprint inked onto the shaved side of the mm. head. Uh, is the is it human? Yes. Human. You said that. Okay. What is the figure wearing? Precisely that. You guys recognize. My regular blaster out. But it's down. What kind of greeting is that? You guys recognize this individual as the same person you saw on that hover bike, watching you with electro binoculars as that young girl was snatched away. The very moment your minds flash back to that, was it just last night? Yeah. It was only a day ago that you were, the three of you, in the a converted tower that had been taken over by, it seemed like a cult, a cult of grants, three-eyed weird aliens that had, they were doing something, worshiping something, heavily armed, as if with military technology, and in a back room, hidden away in a pile of refuse with a single naked light bulb burning overhead, a young girl, short cropped blonde hair, wearing a tattered white smock, no shoes or anything like that on, but a shackle around her ankle. The girl you guys saved, the girl who touched, well, the little organic creatures, with <laughs> what could only be described as, and this is a hokey old, hokey old religion that no one believes anymore, the propaganda is very clear that this does not exist. Right. But if it did exist, it would be extremely illegal, the force. So I'm going to reach out to you, and for a moment, the world disappeared, and you were standing in a field of grass, and the sky was blue, and you could smell flowers. And then you were back in that room, and all your wounds were healed. The girl who was taken by Agent Ballin, an imperial agent who showed up to spirit her away. The girl that you now find yourselves putting your careers on the line for, and meeting with this anonymous figure just 24 hours ago. And you remember standing out there on that balcony and seeing that bright red speeder bike, bright red? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Up in the sky, this figure with electro binoculars zooming in on you, peeling away and zooming off into the night. That same figure now stands before you. Uh, rumor has it that uh, you've murdered a bunch of people and doing a lot of human trafficking. So forgive me if I keep my friend out to keep our conversation civil. Oh, you shouldn't listen to rumors. This was not so much a rumor, so much as a good friend of mine telling me specifically straight out that you killed a bunch of people. We flash Tell back. Them, we f <laughs> you killed a bunch of people. <laughs> we flash back momentarily to you meeting with your chop shop mechanic friend who uh, helped you decrypt the files, telling you, oh, she's dangerous, the guy who helped you with your bike. Yeah, of course, he would mm. sell you out. <laughs> telling that the rap sheet, the official Imperial Police data file on you is drug running, multiple murders, and child smuggling, or human trafficking, generally. I got 45 days from retirement. You can smuggle drugs all you want, but please, no murder in this direction. That's all. I'm just keeping the blaster out to keep us all honest. All right? Fair enough, right? Oh, nothing more honest than a blaster. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So we've encrypt we, we found this on a data file that you got in an envelope. Uh, no. From... I didn't get an envelope. No, Tyler got it. Tyler got it. Oh, blame, blame. thank you. It was, right. Oh, who's actually standing there? We should dress, because of course he would still be there. Tyler's character, who's not here tonight, because apparently he's on a cruise somewhere. What a non- Playing what a, edition D&D. &D. Is that what? someone else's crew? Ah, what a non-noir <laughs> So non-noir. I'm disgusted. Taking his wife and his kid on a no, vacation. He should be sitting around a table. In a, Kate is the only one who gets a wife. 
<laughs> right. Or spouse. Exactly. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. You're a droid. I am. <laughs> that's very great. All right. The, of course, chat would vote for that. Chat, you guys. You little rascals. Stay tuned, yes. chat. There are more screwy things to come. <laughs> well, the night is young. Your question was, like oh, this? Fwam. Fwam the lamb. Yes, Flam. me. A hulking, <laughs> big slab of meat of an alien. Just as tall as he is wide. Huge, flabby arms and this massive barreled chest. He's, his uniform is made from two uniforms sewn together. He has seen nothing but prejudice coming up through the Imperial ranks in this anti-alien, pro-human society. But the man can take a shot. He's a human battering ram and a shield. And uh, at least the local beat cops are glad to have him on their mm -hmm. side. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I got the, the letter uh, thingy. Mm. I'm Not sure you did, Big Boy. Yeah. So I guess the question we have for you is, did you send that to us? Or did someone set us up? Well, I didn't set you up. If I did, You'd be dead by now. See, I, I asked you not to send any murder my direction. <laughs> Here you are talking about murder The murder this way. that I didn't send. All, all right, see, then this is where the blast has to stay out. Keeping everyone honest, keeping everyone friendly. Oh. I feel a lot more comfortable. You feel a lot more comfortable. We're all friends I, here. I really feel you those out me. the opposite. But if you feel like you need to have that out to be safe, I do you know, actually, by all means, sweetie. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna be okay. Oompa. Uh -huh. Long time partners, of course. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do anything to her, you're gonna have to shoot me right in my big, scrotey throat. Yeah, you know, established a throat. big, horrible, frog like throat. <laughs> also, oh, the scrotey throat. Dream of it. <laughs> Good, I hope not. Trust me, you wouldn't want the wham blam slam. You don't That's want right. to experience the wham blam slam. Did you ask us here? Is my question? Mm -hmm. I ain't got an answer. Yeah, why did you call us all the way out here to meet up with you? You don't know how much trouble you're gonna be in if this is just another wild goose chase, right, Umba? We're in a lot of trouble, but I'm, right now I'm working out a way to try and pretend that we were undercover. We better come back with something is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We're all out on our butts. Mm -hmm. And you need to keep your pension. I gotta keep my pension. I got, look at this. I <laughs> my... no. There's a lava planet. Uh, the cost of living's real low. Mason, you I feel, feel it's nice. This Kate nice. feels an urge to suddenly, you're just a, a pang of your spouse pops into your mind, and you need to just pull out that picture you have mm -hmm. and glance at him, her, for a moment. Oh. It, it, so one says that. Give me the one says AD. Go ahead and hand or open that one. Give the rest back to me so I can destroy Chet. them. Chat. This is the moment I have faith in you. Chat, I'm a little let down, chat. You weren't interested in the fourth option. <laughs> oh, now I want the fourth option. Now I want option. the fourth option. Can I have the mystery box, please? <laughs> They're all mystery box, right? Okay. Oh, well, that's kind of on the nose. All right. Yeah, pretty on the nose, chat. They're keeping it keeping it on the rails. Yeah, so uh, I, I pull out my, a, a flimsy picture, an actual physical picture, and it is of an R5 droid. It says bad motivator over the top. I just, I get all it's flustered. It's bad motivator the name or oh. description of its mechanical problems. Well, hello. Does it have a bad motivator is what I'm my saying. So, so you, I'm just yeah. making jokes. You're, trying you're, to work you into the team. You're married to a very advanced droid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. A very... Yeah. A very advanced droid. Bad. Yeah. Old baddie. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the name, what is the name of your spouse? Uh, it's a... Cindy. 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 Okay, so you look at Cindy for a moment. So anytime you bring Cindy, Cindy up Cindy. Before, <laughs> before any roll, you could add a boost die to that oh roll. Oh my gosh, please do. Kind of all the time. Okay. All right, Cindy. All right. I'll, if you guys hang on till the end of the cast, I'll, I'll go through the ones that it wasn't, but I'll, uh, I'll destroy those later. <laughs> now. There was human husband and human wife was on mm. there. Uh, <gasps> But okay, very I interesting. Uh, I, the I have a donation, by the way, as we get back into it from Plate Mail Games. Plate Mail Games! Hey. Yeah. Hey. You know who that is, Wes. Thank you. Uh, three re rolls to me. What? Oh. What? Wes, oh, always got to go with the GM. Dum, 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 dum. sticking together. I know, I just got to start donating to, to Wes's games. What's, what's tomorrow night? I believe it's black bag. Oh, black bag. Mm, Might come full just, circle, buddy. It's not just any black bag, though. What is tomorrow night? 
uh, the season finale, the season finale. finale. of yes. Black Bag. What's going to happen to these Vikings? i got to find out. You better give Wes a lot of re-rolls. But first, so that you can let's find out what happens in Noir World. <laughs> <laughs> so the, part, the veil of reality parts again, and we return to... <laughs> yeah! Why did you bring us down here? The truth is, there's a girl I'm trying to find. And as much as I would like to do it without your help, you're the best I can find. <laughs> oh. The best you can what? find, because we're the best there is. Ooh, uh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Um, okay, well, you can <laughs> say that. I can say that. I did say You're, that. You did say that. I did. I stick I respect it. your confidence. I know someone mm. who knows where that girl was taken, and if you put that blaster away, I might even tell you. All right, here's the thing. Wait a minute, we it know, sounds like a trap. We know where that girl was taken. You traffic in little girls. You just want her to sell her to somebody else. If I already had her, why would I call cops? Did you? Why would you call cops? It's because it's not good cops. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm going to put my blaster away. <clears throat> Let's put that away. But I'm going to keep my hand on it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my fist away. Good job, Flam. All right, Flam. Thank you. Isaiah, can you remind me what tier one is that we've unlocked? Thank you, guys. We I cry decide. a single tier. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever trusted you this much? Normally when you ask him to put the gun Wait, away. Wait, that's your... Oh, can that's you share That's not first? a super advanced droid. Oh, yes. You, oh, you're asking. You don't know what's careful under the you say that to. under the shell. That's what matters. Mm. They're very that's, advanced. That's on the hand side. Right. That's romantic. Man. Red, red-hued side. That's why it's Cindy. Cindy. I and, got it, it. And, and Cindy is red? Yes. Very red. I was able to get back when to When droids on that. get married, Thank do you. they like match paint colors? Or I mean, you don't have to. Piece, you you can. That's kind of our case. Anyway. Wait a minute. Enough about, enough about your Listen. beautiful wife. Oh, I've never met a married droid before. I'm curious. That's all. You're a lucky, you're a lucky droid. You're a lucky woman. <laughs> droid wo dro woman? What's your buffer? Droid. droid. You're a lucky droid. Have you tasted? I, you had me over breakfast one time. Gosh. The no, one, I, what Cindy can do? I just met him two days ago. No, yes, I've just met Cindy him this morning. Do. No, just met him two days ago. At the Last end of the night. Whole, I don't know. Uh, you, uh, so what did you want us for? I mean, obviously for our incredible skills. Yeah, you can see how on the ball we are. We're the sharpest there is. <laughs> we're the yeah. best. It's pretty clear that this girl that we're all searching for is, uh, a pretty big deal, considering we've had two police precincts shut down on her behalf. Well. In the distance, you hear, woo, 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 oh woo, woo. Tier one has been unlocked. A mysterious stranger enters the scene. Now, just, just distantly, just, you just the furthest away you could see red and blue lights flashing, but it's clear. We've got to go. All right. Do you have somewhere to go? Because we're kind of out of options. This is not our turf. Yes, we're going to go. I have to find my guy. He's over at Speak Easy. Come with me. A searchlight kicks on on this police Come with craft me quickly. as it comes down and starts sweeping across the rooftop. Walking very quickly the other direction of the searchlight. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe uh, call something? I think they're following yeah. you. And I you still them... do not know this person's name, is that no. correct? Okay, so keep these things in mind. <laughs> we could be being led into, you know, an ambush. Okay, uh, well then, if you're, you if you're leading, I'm going to need a check from you to avoid being detected, just being caught right. by the searchlight. So this is long, flat rooftop, lots of these little steam and vent pipes, steam coming up overhead. <laughs> Another police craft comes by. Oh my gosh, this is not good for Big, us. bright, white spot of light comes sweeping across. Stealth would be the check. Or Skullduggery. Skullduggery. Skullduggery is perfect. That sounds good. Detective. All right, and what do I check against? What is our end game? My end game is to get out of this with my pen. I, I just need to hear the... Well, what is getting uh, that yeah. girl? There they are right now. Difficulty. Two purple is your that. difficulty right. check. Before you do, would everyone like to roll force die to oh, determine yeah, yeah, yeah. how much we have going oh, on? Oh, I don't have any force die. What? Mm. I guess they must have fallen out of my bag. Uh, did, oh, no. did we share your bag last time? Nah. Okay. They're, they're the easy what? ones to lose. Oh, one dark side point. Mm. No. Okay, what do we have? Um, Two dark side points. Uh -oh. yeah. we do have one light side. Woohoo! You got a roll. Oh, oh, pardon me, sorry, Sam. Okay. So two dark side and one light side. Yep. And then Sam, give this a roll. Uh -huh. one dark side. Three dark side and my turn. Uh, it's not going well ah, for us. Four dark side and one light side point. So guys, what these light side and dark side points represent is 
Doom. Well, the force of Doom. how much luck, how much destiny is on your side right now. If this be noir, that's pretty appropriate. For a roll, if you want to upgrade one of those dice, you could choose to flip over a light side point. If you do so, there's always balance in the force. It turns to a dark yes. side. Yes, and I can upgrade can them. Flip that back later. Um, I got two advantages. And uh, no roll. success for the final roll there. Correct. So that's a failure. Mm. <sighs> two advantage. So what the the way we normally do this, Sam, is. Uh, the good stuff, I let you interpret. So I'd say, what is your advantage? The failure and the threat, I get to interpret. Before I tell you what happens, would you like to spend one of your three re-rolls to re-roll that check? How are we feeling? Or would you like to spend any of your boost die to add a boost I think a boost, boost sounds like a good choice. Yeah. Hand me the little there. blue crystal back, your dilithium crystal. More advantages. More advantages. <laughs> okay, we super have, advantageous. So we have an advantage for <laughs> almost everybody in the group. Yeah. Really. Four, advantage is a, four advantages is at a tremendous amount. Yeah. So one advantage would be something like, oh, you find something handy, or maybe a little shortcut. Four advantage is, is the reins come off, and you can go big. So failure, suddenly the light hits you. You like are about <laughs> to step out of the shadow, and then, yeah, for a moment, we get that way up high view of you. Your long black silhouette sh sh starkly out. For, we get a glimpse of a red dress beneath your uh, trench coat, which is brilliant in the uh, otherwise black and white world. Four advantage. Something extremely advantageous related to that event happens. What is it? Uh, it turns out that right next to us, there's an alcove with a curtain over it. That actually, there's enough room for all of us, even um, Tyler's character's name. Flam. 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 <laughs> well, we still don't know where we're going. Okay. Uh, okay. So and that can take us into a tunnel. <laughs> Perfect. So absolutely there's an alcove. Is it um, set into like the side of a building that looks like it's just solid or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Great. So the spotlight hits you. Hey, freeze! And then you just reach your hand out and part this curtain. For a moment you guys see that the curtain rustles away. And you can see there's some sort of tunnel behind it. Do you enter? Well, let's go. Uh, yeah, I follow, but I cover my face. Oh, they will better not recognize me, oh, says the boy, mess. Oh, not boy, a chance, Dan. Come on. He no, runs it after you as you guys start going down this tunnel. I go, guys, I don't know. This is such a good idea. We don't know who she is. We don't know what she's listen, up to. Listen, listen, listen. I know it. this is getting worse by the second. I get it. She said a speakeasy. This is not a good place for cops to be. I don't think we should be in here. I, I agree. Where you want to go instead, huh? If you I'm, want to get this girl back, you have to go with me. Not super interested in your girl. Yeah. Super interested in keeping my pension. And this seems like a, the route to, to trouble. You're right. Don't, I don't know any other routes. Do you, Flam? Think with your big brain. Uh, I'm the smartest guy in the group, I think. Well, we you're have right. We run away from med bots, med troopers. We have sold a police cruiser. We're not in the best position. I say, if at the very least we can get our hands on this girl, we got negotiating power. You're right, and maybe if we can clear our names somehow. Yes, otherwise we're gonna to that too. That's what we need. We need to clear our names. I need to get my pension. I need to get my bar stool on hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right. The thing stinks to high heaven, and it's time for a deep clean. That's what I say. Oh, I'd kill for an oil bath. Oh, okay, what? if you guys think I'm so. I don't. <laughs> Sam. Yeah. As, even as Flam is thinking, what are you really up to? The next poll result has come in. Can you <gasps> open up the envelope that says BRA on it and give me the other one, which I will destroy? <gasps> they chose bra. <laughs> Wait a minute. Talked about it. Was that your final answer? Yes. All right. I was remembering my acronyms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I hope you're enjoying this. Oh, it's an acronym. Wow. Next pull up. Yes, it is. Guys, so uh, you pass through this narrow, it must be like a cramped service tunnel and you're pushing your way through it. Flam can barely make his way through. And then cheap perfume hits your noses. Oh. It's, it's, it's overpowering almost. And you, in the front, I guess, push aside. It ends in just a simple, plain wooden door. No visible latches. You push on it, and it swings open, and jazzy, Star Warsy kind of music comes yeah, blaring it's out. It's like, just red. Wah, 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 like wah, wah, really wah, slow wah. cantina. Yeah, it's slow cantina. It's kind of, yeah, it's a little more, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. That's what's playing throughout red. The reddest place you've ever seen it's in your red. life. red? 
Everything inside is red. This is bad. The walls are draped in big, like, cheap. Oh, oh, oh. oh nice. Whoa. That's red. That, that is what that color <laughs> is. The one day we chose to see what black and white. <laughs> That's killer. Yeah, as you come in, someone gives a little wah, 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 and the flusophone. <laughs> yeah. The flusophone. Uh, Welcome is... to the Vibro Knife's Edge. Oh, well, yeah. I That's am loving white. this sorry. color scheme. The Vibro Knife's Edge. Right? Right? It reminds me of my wife. Oh, it does. Oh, no. Take a boost die to spend on your next roll. <laughs> uh, so, yes, you, you enter on what seems to be maybe like the second floor. There's a, a short... You come up basically it's like a service closet. You guys emerge from onto a short uh, balcony that overlooks a larger room down below. Up top, where you guys are on, on this balcony, there are a number of doors that, which seem to lead into small rooms. One closes behind you, and you guys see like a uh, an Ithorian come out wearing a very revealing kind of negligee. Ithorians are the hammerhead guys that are. Oh right. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Sees you. Uh, oh, good to see you again, Tom. Four throats. The Vibro's oh, Knife Edge. Who runs the Vibro's Knife Knife Edge? You know the proprietor of this establishment very well. Kirol. K-Y-R-O-L. Q K Y R O L. Kind of Kirol. Kirol, thank you. Kirol. Try not to look too much like cops, dear. Okay. It makes them nervous. Boy, and I scream <gasps> cops. You would blend. Ish. You got do you How have do like you? I put my hand over my patch. Is it is your patch welded into you? Well, it's, it's painted, it's like printed, on. painted on. Painted on. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I will need skullduggery checks from people trying to blend in. That's certainly you. Or uh, stealth is the other skill, right? Do you want it for me as well? Uh, yes, okay. for sure. Skullduggery. Oh, deception. That's what I'm thinking of. I'll take deception. You, no check necessary. Everyone seems to know you here. Okay, yeah, on deception. The Thorian comes up and you know lays a hand on your shoulder and gives you like a. <laughs> Oh, nice. Again. <laughs> naughty, naughty boy. Uh, a couple like heavy bouncer types up there, like notice your guys' intrusion and turn towards you. Yoo hoo. Give me a charm check would be yeah, a really let's do good it. one. Charm, excellent. Uh, Against. You're pretty well known around here. Against. How? You are coming be. in with a bunch of pretty obvious unknown entities right here. So three purple, it's hard. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a boost just for fun because this is great. Seriously, like Flam is wearing two police uniforms sewn together. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I got this! <laughs> now he's naked. Now well, he's gonna see naked. if he can pass his charm check. He's still he's it. still got like tight booty shorts going on. Yeah. With his big my like, belly's like overhanging. Put away the flam. <laughs> now we got the blam. Oh wow. Was that That's a three advantages? And a, and a failure, no successes? No successes. <laughs> Oh dear. This is my thing. I have a brand. <laughs> the the guys like are like, oh, it's just, and then they look past you. And his flam starts ripping off his cop I uniform. I know. I know. I know. Uh, from either side, two heavies approach. These guys are, um, hmm, they're not quite as big as the hook, but uh, they look pretty tough. One, we'll call him a Gamorian, but a thick Gamorian. You know the pig face orc looking guys. But this guy. Hits the bu- hits, been hitting the gym. It's looking a little like Metro chic, a chic Grimorian. Mm. Yeah. He's the neck Grimorian. He's got an incredible slime going on. He's got a little pompadour, oh. leather jacket. He's coming up. I know what they Shame. look like, and yes, it is exactly what it looks like, but dirty cops are invited too, aren't they? You sure these cops are dirty? He says, or let's find out what this Gamorian sounds like. So guys, of course, Star Wars is movies, and movies has actors. Actors have voices. So we're going to roll and see which cameo character is voicing this Gamorian. So this is a list. It's a voice map. I'm going to drop a force down it. We have all sorts of suggestions. These come from you, chat. We're going to see which... Okay. That landed on uh, That landed on Betty White. (laughs) Oh, yes. (laughs) I love that chart nope, on the nope, chat. It stays. No, it makes Betty such White. a great choice. It's also pretty close to nope, it's Sam Betty Elliott it's Betty White. It's Betty and White. Big Lebowski. Can we take a look at Betty White? Betty White. Betty White. What does Betty White sound like? She sounds like a nice little old lady. Yeah. Oh, you sure that they Okay, so that's the Gamorian <laughs> on the one side just oinks at you. And then the heavy on the other side comes up and it's just Betty White also dressed in like leather jacket. Oh, yes. yeah. Spikes on the side. Betty White. Betty White. And like the Gamorian like gets a little like, like, sees the anger on Betty White's face and it was clear that you don't get 
Betty White. You do. No, that's true in life. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a life. Rule. I would imagine. Don't f with Betty but White. But if that was me, how clean could they really be? Yeah. Old native OS. I don't have a lot of voice. <laughs> old native OS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your dirtiest the day is long, you old so-and-so. <laughs> You're too truth. kind. They pulled you out of a hut's butt. That's how dirty you are. <laughs> <laughs> this that lady is dirty. Is savage. But she's still, though, oh, right. she's dirty, all right. But oh you better God. be just as dirty. Now, if they're dirty cops. All right, listen, listen, listen. Give me a bribe. I will take it. Proof. Right there. I don't know if my programming will allow it. <laughs> you don't have to accept anything. I will accept things on your behalf. Programming, huh? But what about this one? All right. You've obviously been around long enough. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you around. I believe you're dirty. He's just a dumb Wait, droid. Don't believe him. And I said uh, insult. This one doesn't really. seem to, This one's a little too perfect. She's a cop, you say? She's very dirty. You better be. You know. She says, the, uh... point out a switchblade, fibro knife. <laughs> They're going to find out why they call it the Vibra Knife's Edge. Look. Get real close to your face. And I'll pull out my lipstick. <laughs> Listen, lady. Yeah. I like to look good, okay? That doesn't mean I'm not dirty just because I'm clean. I think you're squeaky queen. Squeaky queen. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not squeaky queen. I need a, a de deception, deception or a yeah, skullduggery check. Yeah, go for it. Squeaky to, Queen to is someone else on the force. Last we met, I was assist the I can roll, like a charm or Yeah, I will like. absolutely let you assist on this roll. You're doing a great job. Uh, I also, oh. Follies won. Yes. Thank you for the donation. Oh, Follies Thank you. won. Follies. Gives Sam, oh sorry, gives Sam a boost totally die. Yay! Yay! Why? Because it's Sam, duh. Oh. Thank you, Follies. That's awesome. That's really great. And our next uh, poll is coming up pretty soon, guys. So oh, make boy. sure you get in there and vote on it before it's too late. Yes, I'm, I'm... How are you assisting? Well, Just I'm, like I'm in suggesting mm -hmm. that she's a certain sort of dirty and that maybe you wouldn't want to get in the way of my friend. Mm. Well, okay. All right, so I'm going to get your check. You are... Do you feel like you need to make a roll for that? I feel like your role playing is carrying this for me. Mm -hmm. So take that. if you want to, say, take two boost... Okay. It's a boost, and what's my difficulty? Your difficulty? How hard is it for I'll her? I'll give you three Come purple up. again. Three burps! Oh, and I've got so many dark side points. Oh. Not just three burps, but as that's happening, as you took out your lipstick, uh -huh. I'm spending a dark side point to say that for a moment she glances into your bag and she sees, like, just the corner of your badge in there. Ah. Why are you carrying a badge? That's a really rotten thing for somebody to have. I put it in my bag. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. It's not I, like I'm wearing I, I, it on my jacket, I, V. Listen, that you're bored in the question. This is a great old lady voice. <laughs> you're bored in the question. Now tell me before I cut you open from stem to stern and make your face bloom like a flower. I've done it before. My God. <laughs> your God won't help you here. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. Mm -mm. Oh, and I spent. Oh, he really, in fact, will not help mm. you here. Mm -mm. Not even slightly. Mm. Um, These, you guys have okay. not rolled a successful roll no. all so night. So many no. blanks. Look so at exciting. Blanks. So You're exciting. shooting blanks. <laughs> yeah. but another Apparently. player could spend a reroll to yeah, help you out if sounds, they wanted to. That sounds well advised. Oh, yeah. goodness. Or, okay, so. Or, you know, I mean, you could just get cut on. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, spins you around and goes, All right, I believe you're tough. So you take a snoop for this, she says, pulling out a little poly propylene bag that's open filled with this gray powder oh. but as it catches the light it gets an iridescent hue across it do i know what this is from my skullduggery knowledge are you you're trained in skullduggery yeah okay and you're a cop yeah that looks like that looks like uncut neutron pixie oh. that'll take you oh. david and his pixies oh <laughs> thank you that's a what yeah, does hashtag it do into it mm -hmm. oh you don't know that uncut with a little of my betty white special seasoning on top just one snoot for that'll prove to me that you're that you're hot. Um, you do it right. <laughs> You'll do it for me. Take right. it. Uh, we, uh, I'm shaking my head. She mm. sticks her vibro blade into it and pulls it out. Oh no! It's hot. Okay, it's I, okay. Off. okay. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to insert a as roll it, here. As it vibrates, it sparks slightly. Mm, I bet. Um, I think you got to take this. I think that I might. Can I make? Oh, oh I'll throw Wait. you out. Can I do something? Because I. 
okay. Maybe. You fail on that roll, no one's spent a reroll, so the failure stands. Yeah, right. Do you have advantage on it? I did you have yeah, advantage? Yeah, there on was it? ultimately one. Yes, advantage. there was advantage. So you do get to I something. Take a I would like to do a knowledge underworld roll to mm -hmm. say what this is gonna do to so that I know what this is gonna do to it. Yeah. You're gonna get wet. That sounds good. Knowledge underworld, <laughs> go ahead and roll it up. Oh, oh, no. okay. Uh, difficulty just two purple, standard difficulty. She holds the knife up to your nose. Snow it hit. Snow it off the wall. Well, I am not helping. No, no, sir. You have no idea what that is. Um, this is completely. No, you know this exactly. This appears to be something. You have one drops. advantage, but no success. <laughs> you know exactly what it is. You have. Uh, you failed on it. It's, this is this is not. Re this is a fake. This is a placebo. This is going to do nothing. She got bad s stuff. <laughs> like you give her the nudge, and you're like, don't worry. I have two advantage. Well, this is not Two good. advantage. So your, your two advantage is that you notice that Flamboam is like really trying to hide his face and he looks absolutely terrified behind you. In fact, he probably has made like a, uh, a little turban out of his torn out of up his shirt. shirt. <laughs> yeah. So like kind of I try and hide his face with like a face covering on it. Mm -hmm. Just, He's it, trying it, to get it a little bit terrible. of balaclava. Yes, a bottle of clava kind of thing. It does not. It's not convincing anybody. No. Like Ray, I got you. Um, all yes, right, like so Ray, I... With big holes in it. Take a snort! Do it now, or what cut that I... little snooper off of yours before you snoop any further. Um, can I stomp on her toe? Are we going into oh, combat yep. here? Yes, if you want to break see. into combat in the middle of this club, however, it'll blow all the cred that you have. This, this will be a shootout. My, you know, you'll never be able to come back here. Okay, so it wouldn't just be like a... Okay, or... All right. You know she's tough, and there's another guard. Oh, and you don't want to piss Betty White off, right? No, you don't. Not Betty White. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, specifically. Unfortunately for you, I rolled uh, Betty White. And that is uh, courtesy of at Lewis Jedi for Life. What a great suggestion. Ooh. Guys, if you want to suggest your own um, Star Wars cameos, you can go on the Never Tell Me the Odds Twitter. That's at N-T-M-T-O podcast. It's that whole thing. At N-T-M-T-O podcast. Hashtag Star Wars cameo. Uh, Suggest voices. Yes, living or dead. Okay, quick question. Since this is like, probably guessing like her club, right? Mm. You know it's not her club. She's just the chief yeah. enforcer. No. Uh, she makes sure club. that the ladies perform. Oh, oh, okay. Is there like a dart board or something around since it's like, like a There's a Dijalic, a a Dijalic board down below that someone's and playing. I have my Vibra chess. knife out. Yeah. Can I make an attempt to throw my Vibra knife and like bullseye it? So that she can like, I can like show off my muscle, but without actually hurting. Like anybody. a bit of an intimidation. Yeah. No, she elbows you in the stomach as you're waffling, and you go <laughs> accidentally, and you take <laughs> a big <laughs> sniff full of it. Uh, I'm sure this will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I totally figured that we can't out. Can't stop here. It's it's sugar. Sugar. I feel like it's, 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 it's space sugar. sugar. You're totally okay. Mm -hmm. You're totally fine. Mm -hmm. It just seems to be a little bit of blurring around the edges of your vision. No. That might be the extent of it. Okay, might be. You're okay for now? Sure, for now. How do you feel about that? You want a little more? Now you can make your, your uh, roll to throw the thing at the dartboard. Okay. okay. I mean, I'll try it. I don't know how, uh, how well that's going to go. Oh, no. Um, you know the boss is the guy you're going to have to meet with. Yeah. So, as they're doing their trying to blend in and failing spectacularly. Yeah. I'm going to take a look <gasps> around to see if I see Kyrol. Yeah, yeah, he's down on the ground there on his, his normal place. The hut flops forward and turns slowly. Wait, there's a hut here? I can never get away from the huts. No. Don't be spacious, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, the hut flops and turns around. A, a younger hut, kind of svelte, you know, svelter hut. He can move around under his own power. Yeah, he can still move under his own power. A younger Jabba. Mm -hmm. um, and also is wearing, what would you wear if you were in a cool club? The green visor that just goes, not on the top, but just and over Purple the bow tie. And a purple bow tie. I dig it. His classic purple bow tie is just flopping into his back offices down below just past the gambling hall. Can I make a knowledge underworld to determine, like... If you're throwing your vibro knife, that'd be a melee or a ranged light. Um, okay, so I'm, we're going to stick with me throwing I think, my well, I think you can stick with that, okay. but you've, you've taken the shot. As you go back to throw it, the world just seems to slow down. Oh, yes, it's going to help me. In this Bullet super time. Beautiful, help me beautiful aim this way. Knife. Hey, nice yeah. deed. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Another Good great donation. Hey, thank you, nice, nice deed. Nice deed. The, yes, so go ahead and take an automatic... This is gonna hit you hard, so let's do two boost die. It's not normally meant to be snorted. Okay, oh good. 
and it was quite a bit you got. So take two boost die. Okay. As things just clarity, mm. liquid smoothness mm -hmm. fills into your life. It's Difficulty? It's across the room, down below, there's somebody who's about to put his piece down to like make a check okay. on the, the hollow chessboard. So two purple and uh, two black setback. Okay. Do you want to spend a light side point to upgrade that? Yep. I'm going to spend a dark side point to upgrade it. So oh. turn one of those green into oh. a yellow, one of those purple into a red. Oh, goodness. Flip it, flip it back over. Oh, Roll that up. Goodness. Did you? Did we flip? Did we flip? That's flip not some uh, I, you flipped it and then I flipped it back. Okay. This is probably going to be fine. Yeah, all successes. <laughs> and it, it takes. It takes, feels like it takes you forty-five oh. seconds to move your arm I from there to there. I can totally see the video game bullet time. Trial. Yes. <laughs> and a success. Oh. Y'all, so much threat. But with like so much and threat. Mm. Three threat and uh, uh, two threat. Total. I can't. Oh, two threat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Two threat. Not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, hang on. A success and a triumph. And I can't force you to reroll it because you rolled a triumph. <laughs> uh, and Night Steve just donated to give a pack of rerolls to the table. <laughs> hey, thank you, Night Steve. Thank you, Night Steve. You're a hero. We might live despite these cops. <laughs> Any, anyone? That's right. You're doing a great job. <laughs> right? you, you chose the wrong. You're like, oh, these people are a mess. Here's the there thing, though. If there were any other people, honestly, trust me, I would have chosen. Right. Them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like if she, if her character, Their I'm character. sorry. <laughs> You don't know. What, I don't know what your character is. Yes. Now you know how we feel. That's good for you. Yes. I feel great. No, you don't know anything. Right. You don't know anything. Even if this character even. had seen us and chosen us out of all of the police, there's either this character either has the worst judgment in the world, or there's a reason. I'm going with worst judgment in the world. Mm-hmm. Well, Worst judgment this on knife I'm throwing says otherwise. Shoot, shoots <laughs> across the room. Down below, the guy goes, shirk, and then just as he does, the knife, well, you tell me what he did. It was a trial. Uh, yeah, so as he hits down, check, and his big, meaty fingers are down, my knife comes slamming down right in between his fingers and cuts his piece in half. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, they all look around, uh, baffled, up at you, but he goes, she can hand. She can handle her neutron picks it. <laughs> all right. She must be okay. If... I oh, she's all right. So, is this what this is supposed to do? Yeah, guys. She, Betty White licks the the remnant of the neutron pixie off of her vibrating vibro blade. Easy there. It's gonna be it another away. two weeks before I get a shipment of that. All right. I I, I just can't resist that neutron picks it. <laughs> she says, classic Betty White. See you White. later, darling. <laughs> White. Oh, Betty. And, and as she's having her drugs time, come on, come with me. Mm -hmm. We're right. going to start making our way down to Cairo. Okay. <gasps> no, says Flam. I don't think we should just go now. This Flam. is going to get worse before it gets better. Flam. We're I doing agree. drugs? We're lying about our position? What? She's doing drugs. We're what? not doing drugs. This is all sounding so, like, you're moving at a faster rate of speed, it feels like. Everyone else, when you hear them talk, is very fast. Anybody? 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 Or like... Is he, is Flam shouting this, or is he speaking in a little I'm speaking as quietly as I can! Okay. All right, Flam. Might have a huge throat! Yeah, throat throat. Yeah. Throat throat. Flam. Not okay when you call it that. That's his word. Flam, if you have any other ideas, if we go back out that tunnel, we're going to jail. I'm not getting my pension. I'm not going. I am changing accents. Uh, hey, right <laughs> on me all hip flask. Game last week. Hip flask. Okay, partner, I'm no, just going to tell you this now, If I had an, another idea, I would use it. How long, we been, how long have we been partners for? Five years. He extends his hand. It was awful good knowing you. Boy, no. What? No, Flam, don't go. No, I'm, no they're going to beat us up, and I need I'm you to not, stand in front of me, the I'm, way you always do. I'm staying Flam. with you. I'm just saying, I don't think we're all going to make it out of here in one piece. Most of all me, Flam, Blam. <laughs> that was very Tyler. That was. Yeah, that was spot on. Oh, he's easy to do. <laughs> and this is. is happening. Is he now? <laughs> There's a little... Uh, on your, I guess your... In my earring? Your makeup compact oh, starts God. vibrating. Oh, You've okay. got a message. And you pull it out... <laughs> Like extra fast. It's it's a previous stakeout, some spy information mm -hmm. that you'd been putting together for quite a time, and it's finally come through. Uh, the top envelope, you can go ahead and open that up. O Please hand me the other two. O to R. I'm going to throw these out. O to R. Great. O 
Ooh, talk. Great. Go ahead and read that. No one else can see it. Down below, you guys pass through the the uh, smoky, yeah. convivial atmosphere. Convivial atmosphere. People are down below. People are drinking rare exotic booze that you can't normally drink. There are like matchstick matches, matchstick ladies walking around dressed similar to how this person you're with is dressing, going around stims, spice, bevos, stims, spice. To you, it's just getting barely high pitched. Stim, 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 But But the voices around you are slowing, or, but something is slowing down and getting slower. And you hear someone in the corner in a real deep bass going like, man, they don't respect me at all. It's just fetch this, fetch that. And you turn around and you see an R2 unit. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> just doing little high pitched beeps, mm -hmm. but now you can understand, understand binary it. perfectly. Oh and my gosh! The voices of everyone else, all the humans, start to go high pitched till they're just going. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> all right. Well, I was gonna say I want to talk to Gloria real quick, but I think that I know how this is gonna go. So if you're gonna talk to her, you've got to beep and whistle at her like an R2 unit. You know? mm -hmm. I do right now. Okay. That's the only beep, way. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't. She's just looking at you, and it mm -hmm. is not sneaking. In. And then you hear like the other like R two units and stuff that are like with the serving trays on top, going like, "Yeah, yeah, flesh bag, it's drink a another living. one." Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to get home for that oil bath. Oh man, you guys! What I did she sound like ever to us? Realize how hard things were for you guys. I think you can hear her. Yeah. It's fine. It makes me feel really sad that we just. But she can't understand you. These droid units like. Like they're second class citizens. Like, Amen, what sister. have we been doing this whole time, you know? You know who else is treated very poorly? Abducted girls. Eyes on the prize, shall we, love? Uh, Do she, I understand no. her? No. Oh, that <laughs> sounds like to her is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could call someone right now. Uh, knock, knock, knock. You're standing in front of the private door of a. Uh, Kyra, the hut. Does um does Caitlin does K eight understand? Like um, when K eight speaks, does she understand? Well, if I'm speaking binary, yeah, she could. Mm -hmm. She yes, you're obviously fluent in binary, so mm -hmm. yes, you can you can speak. I have a spouse. I don't talk to him at all. <laughs> <laughs> Very awkward. Yeah, you totally. Yeah, no, you totally can speak directly to. Can of we course. figure out that she only understands binary, or is that? I mean, just I'm impossible? I'm I'm like lounging on the ground, having a conversation with one of the serving R two units. Yes, okay. And I've tried to, tried to speak to her, and she and I just not at you. Betty, um, White, Betty White looks down there and sees you like laying on the ground talking to the droid. And it's like, yeah, okay, good. Okay. She's cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's cool. She's cool. Like lounged out, like I'm like you know like, right. hedonistically Some lounged. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, uh, wait, uh, I'm gonna hoist says you up. The, <laughs> the, the <laughs> face of uh, Chiral comes looking into view. The gun out first. And hey, the... put that down, Chiral, darling. Oh, uh, it's you! Oh, good to see you. It's always good to see you, too! Come back, you do! He says, heaving the door open into his back office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue on in and let them sort out their mess a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to hoist her up over my shoulder and carry her in. You carry her wow, in. Wow, how did, Caitlin, how did you get so tall? <laughs> the rest of you guys follow as well. Never gonna in the rear, Flam, who's like, Ugh. Flam, get in a corner. Be as inconspicuous as possible. I thought no one puts Flam in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys enter. Uh, Chiral's oh. private office. They're with you. Yes, they are for today. All right. I can always use more dirty cop. Can't we all, <laughs> Chiral, darling? I try and commit to hut face as much as I can. Resting hut face. It. It's good resting hut face. Resting hut face. Yes. Um, oh. So he comes in. His room is totally unlike the rest of the club. No red anywhere. Um, oh, this place is mean? boring. <laughs> Shut her up, Caitlin. Kate. You friends <laughs> need to be enjoying Neutron Pixie. It's always good to see you bring in more customers. I do what I can. Did you like that little trinket I got you last week, darling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
use it in good health. Oh, you're my favorite non-slave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring you here today. We've got a busy night. Well, we can strike another deal with you, like I say. I love dealing with dirty cops. Yes, you said that. What dirty cops are you working with? I'm not a deal. I'm, I'm not sure I like cops. They ask a lot of questions, don't they? Dang it. They do. It's dull. So, how about I ask you a question? Yeah. We're looking for a girl. I mean, I thought you said you know what the girl was. Recently. What is going on? We here? got you, though. We got. Oh, dang it. I knew the guy who knows. Where the girl is oh, taken, this, is the, this is the guy. I'm sorry, I should not be speaking. <laughs> Do you have anything Maybe I can Excellent drink? suggestion, let's take it. <laughs> Your friends ain't too smart, are they? Oh, too clever by half, we say. This girl is what? Young girl? Yes, the blonde, hair? the blonde one, the short hair. Oh, I liked her. She was nice. Too bad that agent walked off with her. Yeah, about that, he says, turning away. You know, I'd help you out. You know, I like to help you out, like I say. You're my favorite not a slave. Go on. But, this is imperial <laughs> business. You know what they say about imperial business? You stick your nose in, you lose your head. That, I can agree on. This yeah. man is smart. Are you a man, uh, hut thing? It's hut thing is smart. Hut's a hermaphroditic, yeah. <laughs> uh, can you... Uh, roll. So if you want to get more information out of him, if any of you want to try and get more information out of him, well, we're going to need some checks. He's a pretty tough customer. Um, a cool while customer. I am <laughs> yeah, I'm like soon over uh, K8's What's that? I'm shoulder. Like charm for this. Charm it is seems perfect. like That's good. what I've been going with. Charm works for me if you'd like to do that. Yes. So while I'm uh, slung over K8's shoulder. You know that? <laughs> no. um, since I'm like kind of hanging down, uh, I notice but the hip that K8 was talking about a little earlier does look a little in disrepair. I can't yeah. just leave it like that. And I'm right here, and she I got, hit got by a car my at tools, one point. and so I'm just going to fix your hip. I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do a mechanics check. Let's save your charm check for a minute. Yeah. Is anyone aiding in this charm check? It's going yes. to be very difficult. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aid. Okay, what are you going to wow. do to aid her, or, or it, or him? Essentially, I'm going to play to the yeah. Hutt's uh, expectations of cops that we're dumb. And slow. Be like, well, yeah, you are so much smarter than us. It's true. Oh, they're there. Okay. So, uh, great. Uh, let's do a. Um, let's say, go ahead and give me what check would you use for that? I'll take a check other than charm. Mm, that's a. Mm. You can use that streetwise. Yeah, I got a great streetwise. Oh, yeah. Streetwise um, sounds like a really good one. How, how, many, um, how well trained in that are you? I got a yellow and two greens, and then I got a skill that. Okay, so Ooh. I'll go ahead and you can get it, add an additional yellow for Caitlin nice. helping you out. But can you tell me a little more about what you do with your streetwise to appear stupid? Yeah, essentially, <laughs> I, I, I give away things that, you know, you, that's kind of surface level about cops, but maybe a little not. So some of our protocols, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's hope that doesn't get out. Like we always leave a car parked on this alley, but it's, <laughs> no one's ever in it. Nice. Okay. They're not smart at all. I think you chose bad cops. No, but see, that's the ticket with cops. If they stay dull, they don't catch on to the whole game, but they make lovely muscle. All right, yeah. Okay, so add an additional yellow onto your charm check when you make this yeah, check. I want to. Can I assist with the Umba, perception? Yes. With Can I look hair. around the room with my keen, trained <laughs> eye and here. spot <laughs> something that makes me go like, this hut is a baseball fan. Mm. I am a baseball fan now. Yeah, space I, space Baseball is my favorite. <laughs> space ball? Baseball. Um, definitely. Uh, how many, how well trained in perception are you? I'm very well trained. How many yellows? Two yeah. ranks. Two yellows and two yellow. green. Okay. okay. That's a little more indirect, so I'll make you roll for that. Go ahead and roll three purple against that, and then we'll have you roll up. Do you want to spend any of your I'm your spending boost? a boost on that. Great. Oh, uh, oh by the way, any time I roll perception, I get a boost. Because I have gotcha. uncanny senses. You're not bringing your wife up. Mother effer! You've got this. Oh, wow. This is re-roll time. Give me that re-roll time. Yeah, that, yeah, that so really is re-roll time. That was, That's for that sure re-roll time. And, oh, and oh, there we are. are. Mm. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, thank God. Success? Yeah, we yeah. have we have success. Yes. And uh, and three threats. Three threats. Mm -hmm. Two threats. Nope, you're right. Three threats. Great. 
Like two, but more so. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> the, can the threat be Just that the thing that I spot that I'm like, we're going to really bond on is super <laughs> illegal and dangerous? Like, yes. Uh, yes, like that is wearing it. spiky collars with the spikes are aimed at your neck? Yeah. It's not illegal. That's his, his purple bow tie. Yeah. You notice that he's oh, got shit. it's got inward facing spikes around his uh, his neck. Yeah. 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 He says patting it like, on his neck. He likes it. Hey, I, I also really like to wear collars with spikes pointed into my neck. It's super fun. Oh, that sounds all right. Uh, uh, Flam, why don't you put one on your friend? We'll bond over it. <laughs> oh yeah. Flam is like Yeah, yeah. There's like yeah, a yeah. big Put it on up. nice and tight. That's how we like it in the community. Sorry about <laughs> this. Sorry about this. Uh, buddy, no, he's putting it on. Go ahead and make that charm check. So he starts to yeah. lower the, the spike thing around um, your is neck. Is there an assist from that? Or oh yeah, that better be. That was a success. Um, so go ahead and take another yellow on that. All right. Your difficulty. Yes. One purple. Oh, no. It's, yeah. so that would be delightful. Yeah, one purple. If there are any chance of that happening <laughs> right. whatsoever. Is five? No. That's so tough. Yeah. He's a younger hut. We established that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three red, two purple. Ooh. Ow. That's hut. Bitch. This is That's why it's good you guys are. were helping out. This is it. Huts yeah. are hard. I'm so much dice. Good base. I think we should definitely spend up. Do you want to spend a light side point? Light side point? All right. So. Flip it over. All right. For uh, another boost. Yeah. Here's no, the change, change one of your greens. Oh, change one of my greens to a yellow. yellow. Yes. I'll just grab. Oh, perfect. This way, yeah, we, then we don't mix the dice pools. Holy cow. What are you rolling there total? Um, I'm rolling four yellows and one green, as well as one boost against the three it's four triumphs. Red. It's been a dark side point. Let's make one of more. Oh, uh, you son of a biscuit. Oh, no. Unless I'm out. Oh, no, I got one. One no. of the purple no. and red. So it's been a boost for one yellow against you know, you might four wanna, red. That's insane. You have a, another boost there that you could toss in, right? It's true. Um, if you want to. I'm just saying. Piles pretty high. That is a. I mean, but I also you. have three rerolls. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that's gonna. That's a very likely. Hey, she's. Let's go with it. We got this. Situation. I'm ready. If Sam wants well, to. We've got a boost, and you, all right, we, do we it. may yet want to hang on to the boost. Is all I'm saying. Here's the thing. There's a lot more to the night. What do we? All right. Have? Um, it no doesn't look like we're in terrible shape off the top. So these guys can so cancel. <laughs> the hut, Cairo, like flops over to his desk guys. and like puts his hand, pulls open a drawer. Yeah, so you want to hear about the girl? He says, miss, pointing. One sure. One, one advantage is, is the. I'll tell you all about her. Wait, did you fail? Fly. Is that a failure? Yep. He reaches one, in uh, and starts with, to. Yeah. Starts to Would you like to reroll it, anybody? Um. Do we want to take another crack at this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll take another crack. I mean, it could get a lot worse. <laughs> you have three more on the table as we well. Because we had no try. Oh, right, yes, we've got group tri uh, group rerolls. This yes. is the craziest hand I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's You're doing a good job, by the way. You interpreted that, ah. which is. Uh, oh yeah, this I would is actually, want to do that. This is surprisingly. Yeah. All right. Triumph and this looks much stronger. Oh, actually. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> There's also a triumph, David. Wait, your triumph banner then, please. <laughs> Where is the triumph banner? Is all I say. The triumph banner is in our hearts. <laughs> if you can see it. Where's okay. the triumph banner? Oh, Guys, by the way, everyone Wrong in chat. Signs. Wrong sign. Wrong sign. Sorry. Chat. Everyone in chat, get ready to. Uh, I think we've got Lol. our next poll coming up. Oh, no, then no, no. If we hit our next tier Crits. level, I'm going to open up a new additional uh, question you guys can weigh in on, which will complicate one of these four people's lives in a funny way. That's if we hit our next tier Eight. level. More complicated than this it already is. is still a hilarious oh, result. Nice. It's one advantage, one triumph, and one despair. Wait. So, so you, no success. You no fail. Correct. If you fail. You and have, despair. So and you, triumph. you fail at getting him to tell you any information. He reaches in, and it's a failure. And is it a threat or an advantage? Um, an advantage. Great. Do you want me to tell you what the triumph is first, or do you want me to, or do you want to tell me what your triumph is first, or should I tell you what the despair is? Tell us what the despair, despair is first. So we can count. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You think I don't monitor? You think I don't monitor all of the cop frequencies? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> do you? Yeah, I guess he's a hot so we just. <laughs> His voice is low and baritone I've enough never anyway that he sounds like, like, you think we monitor all of that? <laughs> yeah, his is just like like he did helium. You think you don't monitor all of that? Went out of his joint mouth. Uh, oh, sorry. I know what's going on, but I have suspicions about you. 
He says, pulling out a blaster, a giant hut-sized blaster, sized for hut's hands, which oh, is like no. big enough to stick your arm into the barrel. Mm. Oh no. Well, I'm calling in those deaths. <gasps> oh no. And then as that, he puts that spike choker on his neck, he goes, oh, I, knew, I was afraid this was gonna happen. <laughs> Tightens the choker on your neck and pulls you up into the air and starts ah. strangling you out. You wondered how I got all that money, right? I'm in the debt to the huts. They own me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Umba. I don't know what's worse, the spikes or the choking. <laughs> you punch Flam in his throat neck thingy. Oh, in his well, throat? Oh, God. We better see exactly throat. what happens. He comes out with the, uh, the weapon. You uh, have a triumph. Yeah, so he is mostly focused probably... on this, um, the, the choky bit with the one hand. Oh, over That's there? where his focus is. Yeah, right yeah so he has his gun out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. that gun, uh, it's the one hand with the gun and the one hand with the choke, right? Oh, no, he's not force choking. His, his buddy... Oh, fl- I thought he was... Flam like, is choking. He's having Flam do it. Flam okay. with that spike, the inward spike choker <gasps> is right. was Why putting was it I on <laughs> onto Umba. So Flam is choking Umba. Yeah. So he's got a hand yeah. free, but he's pulled out his blaster. Yeah. I think it would be pointed at you. Yeah, so... You just screwed me one too many times! I take... It's big enough to put your hand in. I actually punch my hand <laughs> into it <laughs> to rest it down. <laughs> and I get right up into his face. That's right. We've done it. <laughs> I've screwed you plenty of times. Ew. And I might yet <laughs> screw you more if you try That's to fuck with said. me this night. We don't swear on the stream, so you've oh, got to come up I with a. St- well, we, to- we do constantly, but we try not to. Can <laughs> well, you come up with a Star Wars? A, yes, yeah. that's good. I'll frag you anytime I want, he says. Okay, sorry. Um, so you tell him if you. She's, she's going to screw you. You're going to screw him. Did, All right, yeah. I missed it. Yes, okay. I think yeah. I have it. Though. Screw we have. <laughs> screw we have. <laughs> screw we have available. Okay, gotcha. He screwed me this night. Yes, I know it's difficult to muck about with Imperials, and. If they could avoid it, I'm sure they would too. But no one is avoiding it tonight. That's not the way this goes down. I bring business to your establishment. I bring business to you. If you want me to continue bringing my business, then you will cease threatening my companions, and we'll see what we can do about some business. Now. Good triumph. I'm going to push my hand down and grab Mm -hmm. my other hand onto the barrel so I'm sort of controlling the gun as I take my hand out of the barrel (laughs) of the gun, but at least I'm holding it. So, can we do business? Pretty good stuff. So you're trying, that's a triumph, so I, I can't negate any of that. That all sounds really good. We can do business. Yeah, sure, I'm a businessman. But this one's too big, okay? Uh, You're still for you. taking strain. Uh, what do you want for me? You're gonna have to give me something of. I, I strike point him. Right in the throat. Yeah. Okay, I sounds good. Throat throat. Great, I'll we're gonna keep throat. this conversation yeah. going as chaos erupts. Uh, would you wanna act before? No, Kate already weighed in, so think about what you wanna do. You just lean into the punch as I'm punching. You Can you roll, punch <laughs> roll a brawl or melee check? Since okay. you've got robe on hands. It's about the same. All right, I'm ready. One green. <laughs> what? One green. What? One purple because you're point blank range. Oh. You're punching a guy right in the throat. Do you want to upgrade this that? This is actually my we first roll, it. so I get a boost. Oh, wow. well, do you want to reference your... I do. I, I, do I, I want to get out of here so I can get back to my wife because, god damn it, she's got a nice hot oil bath waiting for me. Okay, go ahead and take a second boost. Do you want to spend one of your light side points? No, no, I think we're good. You're referencing that oil bath like you get a boost for that I'm too. I love it. Oil bath. I'm married to the bath. I'm cheating on my wife with the bath. Mm. Hey, one of those polydroid life. Right? <laughs> okay, roll it up. Straight up plug and play. What happens to Flam? That's a success. Yes. Oh, that's a success with three advantages. You success, you hit him. You're gonna. Well, unfortunately, as we established, Flam can take a beating, so it doesn't hurt him much. Probably, what is your strength mod? Or your, your bra? Your bra- <laughs> one. Okay, so you just, and it just goes right into his folds of his throat. Ew. But it's not, not far <laughs> enough that he even feels anything. Three advantage. Mm-hmm. What does that do? Uh, so I got my fist in there, 
And I want to kind of bend my elbow down, breaking his grasp on the, uh, the choker. Mm, that's a good idea. Choker gives way, and you pull the ground. Blood marks all around your neck. Uh, take, um, take four strain just for... I need a cigarette. Off the top. A little bit of smoke comes out. <laughs> <laughs> out of the neck. You hit the Yikes. ground. You gasp, blood pulling out of your neck. The first thing you do is pull out a death stick and pop it in your mouth. <laughs> Wait, I'm not into that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he puts both. He puts, <laughs> puts both of his hands together. Flam does like a giant mallet and prepares to like bring it down and just swat your head off your shoulders. I would like to avoid that. Great, uh, Kate. Not Kate. Your Kate. Uh, Gloria. What would you be doing? Um, how long am I stoned? <laughs> so the end of the, until towards the end of the scene before okay, it shakes okay. off. Okay, I just want to make sure because so you that can, will affect probably what I do. So. It makes sense. So you, you obviously can see what's happening. You can understand what the HUD has been saying. Whatever right. your anonymous, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all droidy. However, so the ability to speak binary to droids will let you have command over or boosts on dealing with droids. Okay. I don't know if that helps you right now. Um, <laughs> well, since I was ar- since I already had like my tools and everything out. Uh, since I was fixing yeah. K8's hip. Um, oh yeah, your hip's better. Is there anything Take in here boost. that I could yeah. uh, Thank you. hack in here? Sure. Like, yeah, of course. It's the future. Is, everything's computers. I mean, everything is computers. Tell them um, Wi-Fi. Well, let's see. So I didn't describe what's in his executive. So, so it's, you, a, it's a very executive down, office. Like, did you fall and sit down on the ground? I would say that yeah. I fell down sitting on the ground. And well, he obviously has his collection of chokers displayed on one wall mm-hmm. with barbed obviously. chokers. Um, obviously. So you probably have They all have electronic locks on them that you can, like, release, right? They definitely <laughs> do, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What are some of the other things that he keeps in his executive-style office? He's got a number of display cases I would think where he like collects... I or something. Okay. He, he, I don't know about that, but he, he uh, collects. Yeah. He collects strange um, well, he's articles. alone in the room. So articles like, of okay, sin from different aspects of the galaxy. Does he have like a stuffed squid head, or like yeah. a stuffed snail head from yes. a, a big snail hunt he went on? Yeah, he definitely has. Giant slug head. Giant. You slug know head. how big those slugs get yeah. on now, how you guys have been. That's true. Yeah, massive. Oh yeah, true. Big, so this is big massive. And I feel like it looks familiar. Like maybe in another life, I bounced around on one of these or something. Maybe. Reference to a previous game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I want to see if if, uh, if the room will allow me to do this, but I have another idea. Well, there's also work. there's also of course like sprinkler system, alarms, locks, TV monitors. He probably has the panel of like security cams and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, audio microphone, like intercom system. All that stuff too, but you want to um, go with the slug head, yeah? Yeah. So if I if I hacked the system and like basically turned off the the whatever electromagnetic lock that holds that mounts this to the wall. Yeah, because you just use a powerful just, magnet to hold the head up. On yeah, the wall. yeah, as one does. Okay. Um, I'm yes anding this. <laughs> <laughs> then could the slug fall on Flam without hurting him too much, since it's a big smooshy. Slug. Yes, this makes sense to me. So, okay, so the, above the doors, of course, it's like you, you're like, right what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And then just giant. And of course, like a I'm seeing size. everything super fast that I can have time to just be like. Okay, uh, and you, of course, we know you've got your compact because this is your deal that mm-hmm. can hack into systems and yes. stuff. So you flip that open. Uh, three purple is going to be your difficulty. It's going to get your computers. Uh, okay. However, since you've got to do it really quickly, take a setback die. Okay, but, but, but wait, I also. Can <laughs> there's more. There's more. I have a skill. Okay, okay. She's got mm. a skill. Well, let you get rid of setback. But I think it might when it only has to do with communications. But That's fine. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to allow that. It's they, just removing one setback die. Take that setback die off and take a boost die because it's, it's pretty clever. So right. go ahead. I just want take to that shoot. setback die. <laughs> Roll it up. All right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, a triumph! Oh, a triumph! Yeah. But it fails. But it fails. Man. So, what is this? this I don't know that was an advantage. Was. No, it doesn't fail. Oh, yeah, it does fail. It does fail. There's no yeah. success, yeah. 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 We are not succeeding to that. No, you guys have that. fate is not on your side. We're advantageous, but we're not successful. From the beginning here. So, one I failure, one try. Not a partner up with cops. Good job. So, failure. Yeah. You hit the lock, it deactivates. It, well, you turn something off behind that slug head anyway. Turn something off for so sure. So the slug head as a failure does not fall down and hit Flam on the head. So either it falls down into something else, or that wasn't mag- for some reason. You just assume that slug just, head was magnetically yeah. attached to the wall. Right, because if you don't want to leave 
holes in your wall, you right. mount things with magnets. That's what I do. There could what everyone have been, does. Uh, like, there could be guys. some other device behind the head that mm -hmm. you were picking up on. I don't know. What is your triumph? Okay, what is my triumph? Uh, let's see. And no, okay. There's no triumph in it. So, since this hut seems to be a little bit of a, a kinky deviant, uh, let's assume that there's something that's the equivalent of like a Murphy bed in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing kinkier than a Murphy bed. <laughs> that is. That is. Woohoo! That's what gets me crazy. going. Oh, yeah. Murphy beds are so hot. It's so sexy. Man. But yeah, it's noir. That's exactly what it is. Noir. Mm -hmm. In noir, there's Murphy beds. There are Murphy beds in okay. So, uh, I so what instead of that, was. <laughs> but no, he said he said more. It took me a moment to process. I was like, yeah. is it a sex swing? What is this thing? Is it a no, it's, it's, a, it's a bed that folds yeah. up to a wall. Yeah. 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 You know, so then when somebody comes into his office, he can be like, well, why don't we get more comfy? Why don't we come over here to my Murphy bed? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let, me just, Murphy bed. let me just hook it into the floor so it doesn't go back up. It's got to be the like, mood is set. It's got to be this big, sturdy Murphy bed to yeah. hold a hut. Uh -huh. like yeah, so it's steel. a massive bed. It is, real it is a very heavy duty It's Murphy definitely bed. one of the walls. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's okay. almost just one of the whole walls. He so just has to, let me just push my desk out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Real sexy like though. So instead of the slug head falling down off of the ground, the Murphy bed falls out of the wall this and lands on top of Wham. Somebody said, so I go for Maltese Falcon, but someone commented on the Twitter that it, it's, a, it's a little more like Thin Man. It's a little more like <laughs> wacky antics, black and white, yeah. than, uh, yeah. than Hard Boiled Noir. Yeah, the Murphy bed comes down and whacks the hut on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks, hits him on top of the head, Wait. knocking him flat. Oh, no, I, was, I was knocking oh, on to flam. flam. Yeah, we were definitely. Getting, he was getting ready to like double. Oh, oh, oh. Smash. Do the Kirk fist. Right. Yeah, yeah. Kirk yeah. fist. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Oh, I have him. A hut sized, a hut sized. <laughs> It's like Murphy Jones, you better get out of the way. Reinforced steel beams and everything like that comes down and smacks uh, Flam on the head. Oh, hey, that really hurt. I don't know what you were. Oh, bam, down and out, <laughs> hits the ground, Thanks. rigid as a board. Takes a Murphy side, a Murphy I bed. I have your back. Z. The three, the three erotic like. Um, Ugnots that were on top, like trapped in the bed when the wall was up, roll off. <laughs> Erotic Ugnots. And they're like various, <laughs> in their various sexual garbs and roll off and go, ah, yeah, I'm free. And <laughs> scamper out of the room, get the door open and just scamper out of the room, running around the hut. Those were my Ugnots. I take it back, this room is so much better than the other room. <laughs> Shit, they're all messed up. Well, it's good that I found where I put it. Uh, yeah, I tried. I hey, robot, it. you got any back teen? I got it. just. <laughs> The spikes that oh, I'm yes. not so clean. One second. I open up the side pouch where all the ash has been collected and just face. dump that on her. Resting on her face. Maybe. Now I know. Okay. All right. I take back what I said about your three idiot friends. Right. They're useful idiots. Sometimes useful. It's the best kind of idiots. I'm like shaking. They're helpful stooges. Yeah. I hoist I'm, you up to I you. have well, four, strictly speaking. And yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> I saw my pension flash before my eyes. I'm gonna need a serious trade off on <laughs> this close. one. Yeah. You're asking for more than you ever asked for before. I gotta get the tongue on. <laughs> I can deliver more than you've ever imagined. Did I have you do the charm check yet against this guy? Yeah, yeah that was the that one that had the triumph, triumph and that was oh, how this God. whole thing went down that I have. Um, but I could do like maybe a negotiate? That's it. You've got enough. All We've right. got enough. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, we have our next, <laughs> um, our next um, unlocked. A uh, poll came through. Oh, oh my. You're going to open an envelope in one second, Kate, but give me a moment. All right, I'm going to tell you everything, but you're going to owe me big. I need something really big to pay off. Really, really big. Him. He says, pointing to the unconscious flamboam on the ground. He's not mine to give, he's theirs to give. Is you all right? Uh, well, him. I'm just gonna say, like, before he tried to you. choke me to death, I would have been all ready to defend him. But now, he's useful. Wait a second. What a do you life want for a do? life. He. Here's the thing. I'll level with you. We like to say the two exotic taste. Cater two exotic taste here. A hook. Oh, they are unusual. And I will admit, I personally have a small proclivity for hooks. <laughs> Well, now. See them underneath the Murphy bed like that. <laughs> I get it. Uh, uh, Here's mine. 
closer. I will tell you where you find your lady. I look over to Fwam, because I'm not going to do this deal non-consensually. I'm profoundly uncomfortable with that idea. Uh, okay, he wakes up. Thank you. He wakes up. Fwam, <laughs> you tried to choke me to death. Yeah. You're done on the force. I mean, I'm probably done too, but you're really done because I will snitch on you. As they're, as they're taking my pension away, all I will do is snitch. And I've got all of these stab marks in my neck to prove it. Already has the stitches. Totally comfortable with snitches. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Roll I know light. you're lonely. I know you got no one at home. Roll light side, dark side. I know you want to you be the sexual plaything of this hut <laughs> and, ext- and to help us find that girl. <laughs> I know this is what you want. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, what did he say then? Uh, no! <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. That would be my answer. I'm actually. also kind of uncomfortable with this situation. Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm actually glad I turned that <laughs> Jeez. So, uh, we're good. Wait. I'll go, yeah. Boy, what if we played some lovely music and got you some wine and you just looked across the room and you spotted that hut? Well, listen, I'll admit, there's a reason I came here first. Sure. I like huts. <laughs> I've always liked them. Why do you the think I started coming here? anywhere near your size. Yeah, that's true. Right, as like if you want to be dominated and you're a hook, mm-hmm. yeah. where do you, you gotta go? go hut? You can be you the lowest have, one. Yeah. Yeah. You know how many people For look at my throat? Life. You look at your scrot throat? Yeah, and think, no, I'm not into that. But huts. <laughs> mm-hmm. I understand. But you roll a dark side point. Oh no, so yeah. So mm-hmm. he turns towards you and he goes, There was always an act. Umba. Mm. You didn't o- want me to retire. Well, what? Wait, what did you act about? What was your act? Did I ever thought of you as my partner? <gasps> Something legit. <gasps> you're useless, <gasps> Umba. You're always a drain on the force. You're a drunk, <gasps> and you're a loser. <gasps> your pension can't come soon enough. Well, I can agree with you on that. <laughs> No. You're a cancer I'm a can- on this city? You know what's wrong with the force? If, yep. getting, if doing this will help you get that girl, that might be worth it. That's something. But you don't let that one get her hands on it, okay? My heart is breaking. I'm happy to be Do we need him alive? out of that dirty precinct. I'll stay here with the huts where at least they're honest. Yes, they're but not you, you don't go anything. into my place of business. Mm-hmm. And start killing proprietors. Fwam Boyam gives one last look at you, spits at your feet where you're laying <gasps> on the ground, goes over to uh, so wait, Kylor you're... and puts like an arm around Kylor and goes, Come on, get him out of here. And Kylor goes, Okay, especially because our voices sound very similar. <laughs> more tongue. But right. there's just more Tell tongue. Tell us what we need to know and we'll be out of here. So on this data, it's all on this data pad, he says, hurling a flipping a data pad towards you. You grab it. Ooh! <laughs> I tried to get the data back. <laughs> Pushed it like six feet in the air. Yeah. Right. Ooh! K8. Mm. You don't think I'm a cancer, do you? Ash. <laughs> you dead in the eye and you ash me. I do. It's too much of a habit. It's too yeah. great. You don't think I'm a cancer, do you? No. The Only data cancer is a yellow bellied cop. Has some highly restricted data on it. I didn't think, I didn't think droids could lie. Look! What? Are you you what? pick up a little. <laughs> do you think I'm a cancer? Oh, I thought you said, do you think I, ha- do I think you have cancer? I it's think starting she's a Tauros. To, it's starting to wear off. But your, your little cancer. earring, your little earring, Gloria, uh-huh. starts beeping as you're picking up police chatter coming in closer. <gasps> I look around like I forgot that I have my earpiece in and I'm trying to figure out where the voice is. Good news is the, the drugs are starting to wear off. Okay, that's you. why I understood them. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So Everyone's just kind of healing down at high pitch. I remember oh. my, uh, my comm. Oh, oh, wait, guys, hold on. Something's coming through on this comm. It's a city, it sounds like it's a, a serious citywide APB, and they're looking for you guys. And what's wrong with the it's coming. Di- it's coming directly, directly from Imperial Command. Directly from Imperial Command. We need to find these co- possibly contaminated individuals immediately. Immediately. All points bulletin. And then there's like, you hear the other chatter of somebody like, we maybe saw something on this roof, something, something like that. It sounds like you're going to have to get out of here pretty quickly. 
All right, guys. We're about done. We're hot on our tails. I think so too, says uh, Blam Blam. That was Blam Blam that time. Go ahead. <laughs> Get out of my sight. And then you guys, as you're leaving the room, uh, and the door's sh- shutting, you see Flam and uh, Kyler going for like a big sloppy kiss. Oh. Oh. And the door shuts. You know what? That's actually oh, that's love. Cute. That's a happy yeah. ending for Flam. No, for I ship it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a great ship. I'd like to see. I'd like to see more hot ships. I don't ships. want it. <laughs> I like hot ships. Yeah. <laughs> um, how are you feeling as you as you guys? Are kind of like lurking in the actual no. doorway to exit. I think I, I think you, Flam has broken me on the inside. I didn't even know I had a heart to break. In a distance, you see like a police cruiser go by, passing, and then Maybe it's all clear. Maybe I should just turn myself in. I'm a cancer, and what's wrong with this city? Hey. Think of your pension. I I actually I grab them, and I pull them first. Whether you've been a cancer or not is not important. What Im- is but important? But you said I, I was a cancer. I don't know you. I don't. Particularly probably, care to know who you, you were, but that doesn't matter. What matters right now is who you are. Wait, are you holding my tie? Hold my tie. <laughs> <laughs> what matters is who you are in this moment, getting this girl. Now, are you going to prove that you're not a cancer and help me? Uh, or are you just going to sink into death sticks and misery till that pension finally runs out? Oh, I, I've already been in death sticks and misery. Let's try this thing. For a while, but I don't want it to screw with my pension. I still have For 45 now. days till I retire. <laughs> I grab the death stick, I throw it to the ground. No! I'm I very addicted go. to those. I will have, I will be very irritable if I have to go cold turkey right now. You don't. already are. <sighs> you have to twice as hard, you think, as you take your flask out, now that you don't have your death sticks. <laughs> well, I just threw away the one. I assumed that, like, oh, yeah. there are three packs yeah. stashed on yeah, their yeah. personage. On the hat. Oh, I'm but so nervous by oh, the first It was sure the correct the dramatic the beat. The <laughs> Guys, our, our second, um, so we cut to, we do a beautiful screen wipe. You throw her back, yeah. it back, him back, them back. Them back, yeah. Them. You That's throw them step. back, you sag against the wall, and you guys pan, turn to look out, and as you guys turn to look out into the darkness as the police cruiser passes, screen wipe to yeah. That's a beautiful pad. screen wipe. Yeah. You're in a different part of the city, a much higher up level. This is closer to where respectable people live, suburban neighborhood. Mm. Closer. closer. Not all the way to the top. Nah, I mean, not actually respectable. Who's respectable on course? But when the respectable people want to be disrespectable, this is where they go. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. That's exactly right. It, Whereas we were aware the disrespectable people go to be disrespectable. disrespectable. Yeah, yeah. To, to really be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. Super disrespectful. <laughs> The data pad you've been following leads you all the way here, and it has some some interesting information. It's the coordinates of a tower. Did we take Flam's car? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, the screen wiped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The thing. Whatever we declare. You took the (laughs) method of transportation, which got you there without uh, distracting anyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, As you were in the car, by the way, you take a look at... Yeah, we took separate routes and then met at the thing. Your two Sorry, envelopes. I'm keep my bike. Mm. Oh, also your wife. Yes, yeah. you take a look at, <laughs> at your spouse, by. your droid spouse. You can run the, the one that the says that we, uh, the uh, IPP one. So that one. IPP. The guy that we got. IPP. You know, about, you know, know like, me. Made your bike. <laughs> Uh, was, was hitting on me earlier, trying, convincing me to get gadget you know games. Tier so. two reach. What does that do? If you want to. Oh, for sure. I'm on the back the of your bike. For sure. Excellent. So what? Noir. Noir monologues. Ooh, guys, tier two has unlocked. This is a noir monologue. Can you can you post the hidden or the extra question that I think I think I sent you, guys? We've reached our tier two of donations. All right. Noir monologues. Uh, so this, I believe, the concept was. As you guys look at this tall, it's like a docking tower, like a cargo docking tower for, for aircraft to come in. Not aircraft, airspeeders to come in. And as you look at that in the night sky, again, feeling the real exhaustion of being on your feet for like 24 hours straight, hearing the chatter of police all around you, you reflect internally, and we're going to do an extended noir monologue. Where are you in life? What's going on? So this is the kind of thing that starts with the... Started off like any other day on the force. <laughs> Like those? Perfect. That's exactly <laughs> it. We're going to do one sentence per person, and then we'll move to the next person, next person, next I, person. Oh. We're going to build just, a group monologue? We're going to do oh, a yes. group noir. It's your internal monologue. A group log. No, a group log. It's a collective log. Yes. Yeah, right. Called, no, no. Kelsey, that sounds like a good start. That do you want to start it like that? Yeah, it started like any other day on the force. 
The humidity was rising. Steamier than a relationship between a hut and a hook. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I better do it too. <laughs> yeah, you better. But it takes more than steamy heat to take out the wrinkles in these shirts I call my soul. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. That was, that was, that was a good one. That was pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> I stood at the edge of a precipice. I could fall down deep into the city and be lost or look above for something better. In a tower that just we <laughs> come that up tower. to. Yeah. That tower. Lord only knows how far down I'd fall, being digested for years and years and years and years. Or I could rise up and be something I've never meant to be. A good cop. Ooh. Let's try to see if we do, we do one more time around, see yeah. where it takes us. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the transition sentence. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go with it. <laughs> yeah. I My said brain a thing is about blanking. shirts. I know. Uh, Did you some in drugs? Yeah, you could be a good cop. Always thought, prefer things squeaky clean. You never realize it actually feels kind of good to get a little dirty. And dirt is where we excel. Dirt is the one thing that the Empire can't abide. Good. And I've been dirty so long that I might as well have been up the inside of a hot butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's where we wrap it. We wrap it. Yeah. So we cut to as you guys step up to face this tower. Information you learned from the data pad. Yeah, this is Imperial. Imperials are behind this ab uh, abduction, that's for sure. In fact, Agent Ballin, it's the one who signed off on it, the same guy you encountered before, essentially the head of the regional <laughs> FBI director for Coruscant. Mm. Detective. Right. If we go after her, you know you're kissing your pension goodbye. Well, I could have a, I could be a cancer with a pension or a hero that dies in a tower with Imperial shooting. I really would prefer to be a cancer with a pension. I can't be, I can't lie about that, but this is my moment to be something more. And you're a dirty cop now. There's always some revenue was, in that. I was always dirty. Just not that kind of dirty. Well. You know, best like, time. Like, best you know, what? Twenty-five right. days. Maybe so less. It looks time like it just that. got down to one. Yeah, maybe less time than <laughs> the stranger that. Stranger weeks. As you see, on the <laughs> <laughs> right, we never asked your name. We just walk around with people we don't know the names. That's a stranger. Uh, on the data pad, the last piece of information, importantly, they're moving her off planet tonight. Right. That's why she's at this transportation tower, and you guys can already see. The distant, like flashing red light, the wing lights of a off-planet cargo shuttle, shuttle, like trying to move in. It's Coruscant, so there's constant air traffic, so it's circling right now. It's like the 405 of air traffic. Yes, so it's not moving at all. Though. So it's not. <laughs> yeah. It looks it's like dead. you looks like you guys have an hour of real time before it arrives, takes her off planet. If you can get there or not. All right. One last little note you notice on the bottom. Uh, it's there's like a number of uh, injuries associated with. With uh, it looks like the hut actually Kyler was involved in the trafficking of her to help cover up the whole situation. And you see, a number of his men seem to have been injured by this young girl. Hmm. And there's just a note, afraid of the dark. Period. Right. The tower sits in front of you. It's about 120 feet tall. No windows. Just this gray, hexagonal shaped mm -hmm. monolith that rives up. There's a big helipad on top. The landing lights up above it flashing red. You can't see anything that's going on up there. There don't seem to be any shuttles. There seems to be only one door. That's right at the base. And standing in front of it, on either side, two med troopers. So these are like stormtroopers, except they're dressed in like white biohazard suits that kind of enclose them in this puffy Kind of uh, stay puff man kind of look. Mm -hmm. Wait, did we keep our suit? The no, we left it in the car. No. They got looted. the front of their uh, their face masks are also kind of like these piggy, kind of little snout, and they've got overly large black glossy eyes. Gives them this strange and human look. They're standing on either side of the doorway, weapons out, 
Um, you guys are picking up police chatter as well. Like going by in the distance, another cruiser. They seem to be giving this a little bit of a wide berth right now. And you guys are picking up just the standard quarantined area kind of acts information. Quarantined area, biohazard, stay out. Uh, Gloria, you think you're going to hack this system and get us a map of this tower? Find where they're keeping her? Let's see. If we need a way in, I can pretend to be bringing you in. That? I mean, you'd have to clean it up a bit. That is a way. I would have to stop doing this. <laughs> we can cause a distraction just off the door, draw them away, and then sneak in. Um, or we could take these two med duties out, <laughs> they steal their clothes. And then two of us can walk around as med troopers. Uh, putting the med suit on did not work as well as we thought it would last time. Oh, that's time. right. They Final totally metric. knew. Mm-hmm. Some jiggers. Mm-hmm. Find out where the girl is. All right. Can that's I important. download a blueprint of this building? Yes. Should we get a blueprint of this building? It's however government, as you jump into the, uh, the web, the galactic web, the info net on the mm -hmm. planet, highly restricted access to this building. It's, it just seems to be just anonymous storage, but it, you do notice that it's be know better. personally owned by Balan himself, oh. Agent Balan, and highly encrypted. So I'm gonna need four purple. Okay. I would throw some setback onto that, but I know you could remove it. No problem for an expert hacker like you. You wanna spend any, oh nice. Um, I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll uh, upgrade. I'll upgrade one of my greens to a Lella. Before you guys roll that, Chet has voted on the most recent poll. <gasps> What's happened? The Chet. next person who speaks was going to be affected by it. I'm going to count your gasp as that. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. I'll write a secret wow. message for you. Okay. So I like secret messages. Oh, triumph! Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah no, this this is With that's not possibly lots of disadvantages, but not failure. That's not like anything. there's no there's no failure. Okay, you're trying to count as a success. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So one success, one threat. one threat, triumph. One success, one threat. You hack in, no problem. You leave a trace. There's no way to hack in unnoticed, mm -hmm. so they can tell someone's hacked into the system. But you get complete schematic readout of the inside of the building. Not much going on. It's just cargo pods that are lined the insides of it, and a central elevator which takes you up to the landing uh, pad on the roof, which just has a little, you know, it's basically just for something to land, get loaded up, and that's about it. All right. There are some like probably loader droids in there. Um, you also pick up on it's probably like real time data you're picking up mm -hmm. on. And you can see inside. Inside there are a number of more individuals. As you get like the grainy black and white slightly hacked feed coming in, mm -hmm. sort of glitches out. These are not Imperial troopers. In fact, they're grand, they're three-eyed. Um, oh. And they seem to have someone in there. You can't quite make it out, but then you get a glimpse through the static of a young girl in a white smock. And they seem to be trying to restrain or do something to her. Okay. That's what's going on inside right now. No other entrances, though, other than that front door. I have something to tell you before going in. Then what? Tell me. I've just become aware of the secret programming that's been running. No, you don't. I don't. Oh, wait, you would know that. Yeah, it just says I... Uh, do you want to reread it? You do. Confirm. No, okay, no. Rules is written. Go ahead. Okay. Divulge. <laughs> I'm unable to hurt Imperials. That is inconvenient. That is a minor inconvenience, but we will work around it. In your I didn't, as a player, hear that. Oh, I can't hurt Imperials. Gotcha. Directly. Directly. Imperial right. agents, yeah. Yeah. Ah, so you can't punch them, but you can pull a rug under them. Right. Yes. Well, uh, this is inconvenient. Well, K8, I have good news for you, because according to the data I just pulled up, the people in this building are not actually Imperial soldiers. What? They're grand. They seem to be the same cult as you guys encountered before. I think they're related to that cult. Well, damn, it would have been much more fun if they were Imperials. So, looks like you're in luck. And you might get to good. keep your pension. I would love to keep my pension. That uh, would be great. Uh, but you're not going to help us get past these two med troopers. As for my triumph, can I see what the fastest, most unobstructed entrance and pathway through this building would be to you get to the girl? You do have a triumph, not just a success, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a vent. There's an access vent. Um, 
love a good fence. It's only two meters wide. <laughs> Which would be huge. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we don't have Wham. We don't have Wham anymore, no. so. so. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's there's an access vent totally. You can approach from the rear, pop open, and climb through, and totally avoid the med troopers in the front. Right. Uh, other side note: uh, It looks like there is an access to this building through a rear vent, and it's large enough for even K8 to get. I through. like to enter things through the rear. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, if Flam was there, he would have laughed you real hard. You and the end back. of that nor monologue. Yeah. <laughs> you hot butt, you. Yeah, you hot butt. Cut to Talk you guys out. opening up that vent shaft, uh, oh my boosting gosh. each other up through it, climbing, and you guys squeeze your way through. Boom, 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 boom. Drop out the other side, sorry. Okay. Thank you. You don't need your character sheet, do you? You don't need to see this. No, no I'm very familiar with this character that I just picked up. <laughs> you guys emerge. You see, it's it's dark in here. It's just uh, it's only partially lit. In fact, uh, some of the lights are flickering. It, you know, in fact, it probably looks a little different from when you saw it when you were looking at it before mm -hmm. you guys entered. Some of the lights are like flickering now. You can see that there's some sort of damage against a panel on one of the walls, and like one of the cultists is laying there, like. <laughs> what the. Like he's injured. Got one on here. He's got one of those collars on. <gasps> no. Those collars are terrible. <laughs> they're all dressed in the same kind of beige uniform. It's just it's like a beige t-shirt with like khaki pants. Mm -hmm. Very kind of cultish. Yeah. And That's cheap. a cheap cult right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they all have, of course, you see a, a thin gold chain with a medallion hanging around their neck. It's that same shape you guys saw in their base we before. It's like two hands cupped, and then there's like some sort of like abstract flame cupped in it. Hmm. It's a small medallion around their necks. They also all seem to have <laughs> shock rods. Oh. About this long, forked at the top with like a sort of taser type beam <laughs> along it. All right. They have it out. There are five of them in the room. And uh, one of them is trying to force the girl into a pod, one of these cargo pods. Uh, it's just not very big. It's like the size of a closet. I mean, they load all sorts of stuff into it, so it's pretty big. Big enough for a person to walk into and stand. You could fit a couple people in there. You can just barely see into it where you are from. It doesn't seem to be lit. The sliding door is open, and a couple of the grand are like going, nya, 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 and trying to prod at her and force her into the, uh, into the cargo pod. And, ha, ha. She's backing up. It's the same girl you saw before. Not quite 12. Mm -hmm. The blonde hair looks terrified on her face as she's being forced back, but she's trying to stay away. You guys are in the shadows. They don't see you yet. What would you do? Take aim. I'm gonna, um, we're going to make some eye contact so they all fire at once. And they're like, they all fire at once. Let's all fire at the same time. Okay. That'll be everyone, I think, has ranged light, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, get your dice. Wait, pool. you have an umbrella. I have a ranged Ella. Ella. blaster, right? I have a blaster rifle blaster would be ranged rifle. heavy. Yeah, so heavy. great. Okay, so get that together. Difficulty is just two purple. You all have uh, advantage, so go ahead and take a, a boost die. Each We're of you, because this, no one sees you. If you want to spend any more of your boost dies, feel free to. Just two purple is your difficulty. Are you guys all targeting the same person or not? Different people, right? Yeah. Um, what if? Of the four of us, we each choose like two, two and two, so we get a little more focus down. Yep. In case like one of us misses. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. The two people that are poking with the exactly the batons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what not to do. Oh, nice. Um, not four. Hey, hey that's awesome. I do the <laughs> best roll of the night. No yeah. Way. We have like okay. no I failures here. Uh, it as a here we go. All right, guys, turning it around just in time, hopefully. Oh, no. <laughs> David. All right, I just... so we'll go around to the table. We'll start with Talene. Just tell me how many successes you have and how much damage that does. Seven. Ooh, how much? Seven uh, damage. Seven successes. What? Yeah. You rolled two purple? Yeah. Holy yeah. moly, I pulled one Pichelli. up because it's, uh, it was two threats. Seven so. successes? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen someone roll that many. How much damage does that do? Uh, I don't have the stats for the for the standard bl blaster I think pistol. it's like six points usually. Yes, yeah, six right. plus yeah. uh, one damage per success rolled. <laughs> so oh, they oh, have oh, a oh, sad, oh, sad oh, day. Yeah. I'm really uh, irritable because I still my neck is still bleeding. <laughs> And like you didn't have that death stick 
that you were supposed I, to have. I like haven't the, been smoking. The 11.30 like, de- p.m. death stick. <laughs> I, I'm like... You haven't had the 11.35 death stick yet? I haven't had that one either. <laughs> this is bad. I'm just like... Arr, right through one of, one of the grands. like... Arr, arr, and turns into like three eye stalks are going around. And then right through one of the central eye stalks. Yeah. Just... <laughs> then out the back of the head with the like... A, well, it's Star Wars. So... He just falls down. Yeah, he yeah, just falls. shoots right into his brain and he <laughs> staggers backwards and falls down. Gnarlous. I did have Stuck one right. threat. Do you want me to take a strain? Take some strain. Yes, that sounds great. I feel like this strain is, strain, this is uh, <laughs> still related to me missing my death stick. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, this makes sense. Ah, yeah, this makes sense. Great. Uh, since that was, since you guys are all kind of coordinating fire at yeah. the same time, very clever. I'll let you guys all go before I go. I got two successes and an advantage. It's a surprise. So it's going to do nine damage total. That another guy goes down, <laughs> staggers backwards, hits the ground. Uh, I got two success, three threat, uh, and I do nine damage. Any advantage or threat? Oh, how much threat? Three threat. Okay, nine damage. You, nine, you said again? Nine. Another nine heavy threat. blaster yeah. rifle. Now, you guys all fired at the same time, and you said right. you're going to fire two and two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... And we've killed two, so it means two corpses get shot by. Yeah, we get overkill. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, and you have yeah. three threat. Uh, how many success or advantage did you, or advantage and threat did you get? Um, I got two successes and one advantage. Okay. Was I maybe a little slower and aimed at someone else once I saw the other guys go down? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> yes. All right. So you're like. Uh, so I do eight damage to that person. Eight. <laughs> yes. Okay. So two of them go down instantaneously. It's just. <laughs> your shot. Yeah, you stag yeah. another guy, spins him around, he hits the ground, but then he gets up with this thing. He's not He gets knocked down. He does get oh, knocked down. But he gets up again. And he gets up again. Yes. You're never going to You're never going to get down. <laughs> oh, oh, we will. He's a hut butt. <laughs> <laughs> Got our own swearing now. crawled right out of a hut butt. Yeah. Which is what Steamy. Luke is trying to do right <laughs> yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> smash cut to <laughs> Smash cut to <laughs> <laughs> oh. like That's scene from Ace Ventura 2. When, yeah, yeah, when so he okay. births from the rhino. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, yeah. The Gran on the ground <laughs> jumps up with his shock prod, so that leaves, I said there are five total, two down, yeah. three remaining. Two uninjured, one injured. Yeah. Your shot with your three threat. Mm-hmm. Uh, ricochets like since the guy hits the ground yeah. probably the one that either of these guys took him down so fast your shot goes right over the guy's head as he goes down hits a panel near the door on the, behind it <laughs> the door opens to the street and the two med troopers go oh god crap and turn and look inside slowly they turn slowly they turn and then their blaster rifles come out and they turn into the room. Why do these medical troopers have blaster rifles? That's well, not. They look a bit different. Oak. They look a bit different. First of all, they're yellow pla- or white plastic, mm. or with yellow, <gasps> yellow with black biohazard symbols on it. Mm. That's probably. They're good. gonna shoot viruses at us. No. <laughs> oh. Common cold. Common cold. Common cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, common cold. Eat flu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, not no, the so hour the one. door solemnly opens, so and climbing. the two med troopers go. <laughs> They're not the Gran, the secret rebel agents, get them! You shout that I to want, them. I want to try to roll. Wait, the grand, my two remaining grand, get to go first. Three remaining yeah. grand get to go first. The injured one <laughs> takes out his shock prod. Are all of you guys clustered right next to each other? Would you all? Yeah. Who, we would be because we, we all would just have came been, in, yeah. and they were like. Yeah. Sam, you're sitting closest line. to me, so I'm going to start with you first. The injured one yeah. comes charging towards you. <laughs> swings the shock prod wildly towards you. Yeah. I love that grand martial arts. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. They're not. The grand martial. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. He does the thing. No. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. So yep. you take yeah. uh, nine. Oh, all right. Wait, wait. So that's six. Yeah. Oh. Strain. Yeah. Okay. You, he just kind of grazes oh, your arm with it, and then you feel this. Yeah. Like blast of electric energy that goes through your whole uh, arm. Yeah. It goes totally up. You get to subtract your soak from that first. Yep. I'm sure you Did remember it. that. Thank you. Uh, it hurts like hell. The grand's yeah. right on. You're waving it wildly in your face. Hurts as bad as a hut butt. Awesome. Our next uh, our next poll came through, which is great. Hey, so thanks, it's the bar one, 1971. Hey, one bar remaining. 1971. Oh, donation. Thank you, bar 1971. The second one, yeah. droid lady, 
Real screwed up bastard. We, don't know. <laughs> Real we actually at no point bastard. know anything about this stranger. Just a bastard. <laughs> no, I, so I answer I my gender is bastard. I think you're <laughs> yeah. the one. You're the cop who well, not same. disguised himself. <laughs> IRL. Yeah. Herself. You've got the thing on there. So the other one's going to come charging towards you. That's fine. Shock brought out. Same roll. Two successes. So that's another mm-hmm. nine. And advantage and threat cancel each other out. Take nine straight. Monkeys. As all of a sudden, systems you like, I don't know. Do you have a little flaps that can pop open like R two D two and seltzer shoots out of you? Uh, Seltzer. Yes, seltzer. Seltzer shoots out. (laughs) Yeah, actually, all of the uh, the ash. (laughs) 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 Does that then blind the uh, the other (laughs) threat? Yeah, I know, right? But what does happen? So the two med troopers will act on the next turnaround. The other remaining grand takes the girl and pulls her into the med, or the, the, the storage pod. And then he's not hitting her full on, but snapping it at her. She stumbles backwards and the door slides shut behind them as he hits the panel, closing them into darkness. Uh oh, she doesn't start. like that. Now it was her that was afraid of the dark? The girl you, that well, you start to hear a young girl screaming inside. Okay. Back to you guys, top of the order. Uh, um. Someone who can hack that door. Do we, want, do we need to roll Me. perception Someone or something? Someone who can to hack that door. Okay, let's keep it, uh, okay. let's we keep will, it in the order we went. Let's keep it in the order we went. All right, we start with, <laughs> we start we with, went yeah. it this way, yeah. Let's just keep that going. Okay. Right. So that's what you see. One grant has disappeared into that storage thing. So there's one out. Two, one, is, one is swinging his energy prod wildly at Cade. One is swinging the energy prod at me. the stranger. Yes. And two med troopers are about to come through the door. I'm calling that a delay. K8, what do you do? Okay, I, I do what I can to take a step back, and the words of my wife come to me. This is famous saying that she used to say. <laughs> so, oh, that was a great oh, droid. Yes. Oh, that was brilliant. She does say that. Yeah. Very high quality <laughs> droid. That was very good. And you I, I want to unload you on the. You do a great uh, impression of your wife. The guy that was attacking me. All right. That sounds great. So you <laughs> take your boost on that as well. Uh, just your, what are you firing with? Blaster? Yeah, my blaster. Your point Same blank one range with this guy, so one purple. Okay, cool. Yeah. So the dark side points make up one oh. monster. Are they basically inside Monstar. like a like a small shipping container? Is that basically? Yeah, think of a shipping mean? container that's standing upright, maybe about half that volume, mm-hmm. but yes. basically like that. And it's um, connected to a yeah. rail, yeah, yeah, yeah. which uh-huh. seems to be able to run it up towards the top. Okay, and then so it has like, a like blaster elevator. doors, basically. Yeah, and the doors slide but open. But there's not door. like electronics on the inside of the room or anything aside from the doors. No, it's a very. It's like think of that exactly right. Like a cargo container, a little bit smaller, connected to a rail that can run it up to the surface okay. if necessary. Three successes, no advantage, no threat. Three so successes, does, how much uh, damage? Ten damage. Take, wow. <laughs> right point blank range in the chest. <laughs> Hits the ground unconscious. I will shoot one of the med troopers. Okay, roll your attack roll for that real quick. Okay. And then What's your the next difficulty? Uh, two purple. Boost it. Yes. Oh, I have a boost too. I didn't use it. And the Bard 1971 donates to heal five strain Ooh, for Talene. Nice. Oh, oh nice. my God! Nice. How do we That's how do we rationalize that in game? Uh, Quitting death sticks has been great for you. Yeah, all yeah. Mm. Like, like at first it was really awful. You went like <laughs> a full really ten minutes and it really like <laughs> went past yeah. the hump, and now I'm just like, yeah. yes. Oh, um, or that's your heart. Let's the your heart beat like just, right. The adrenaline yeah. never comes. Down. It's about you. You're about to die from yeah. this. I would. I'm about to die. From the lack but I feel of death great. Things. It's like quitting <laughs> drinking too quickly. I would be right. Yeah, yeah. Dangerous. Right. You fire. Mm-hmm. I get one success and one advantage. That's a hit. It's great. a hit. How much? Isn't it six plus the success? Six plus one, yeah. Seven, yeah. but I don't, the med, the med troopers probably have crazy yeah, so. Yeah, they probably have like six soak or something like that. No, 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 not that hard. Uh, well, it is a little high, but not that bad. Um, so you do, it does just hit him in the shoulder with a, and there's a mm. black mark on his, on the poofy side. Oh, of his good, that, that's that. lethal. Black them. mark on you. <laughs> so uh, seven uh, total. Uh-huh. Scuff. Gloria, followed by Stranger. Okay, I want to hack into the lift system. 
uh, so that it stalls, and I want to try to open the blast doors. You're going to have to cross over to it to go there, so you're going to have to run across the room. Okay. Uh, as you do so, the med troopers, now that they've been hit, begin to open fire on you. Are you <laughs> still going to do that? Yes. One hit. Okay. Your wing, as you run across the room, <laughs> uh, so that's just, so we'll say that's just winging you, so five points of damage. Okay. Okay, subtract your soda as usual. Oh, yeah, I didn't slip down. <laughs> okay. I had it right the first time. All right. You slide up to the door panel. That gives you a little bit of cover, but not total cover. Yeah. Very the Han Solo opening the blast door situation. Compact comes out. This is your computer's check to open mm -hmm. the door. Give me... And I have uh, an ability. Tell me about it. Ability. That I can reduce the time needed for computer-related hacks by 25%. Her rank, which I just have so that on. means normally I would give you black set back die to try and hack this so quickly. Uh, three purple is your difficulty on okay. this. Oh, that's. Oh, and, well and we have group re rolls yes. gonna, as a general. I'm going to spend a dark side point. So uh, like that. Two purple, a purple and a red. And a red. Okay. Well, I'm gonna yeah, 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 yeah. Going back over. Yeah, yeah. David, okay. how Super about good call. that? Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> okay. Say that, you dirty dog. Oh Another my triumph. god! You've been rolling What's triumphs nonstop. That's like your third triumph this game. nickname is Lady Triumph now. I do oh, have a victory snap. roll in my hair, so. Oh, oh. there you go. So, so who needs a up, pennant? Right? <laughs> okay, so that's a huge success. Huge success. So what do we have? Three. This was a triumph. Two. Okay, so those cancel out. That's just nothing. So, so it's two for, success. Yeah, two success and two advantages. Two advantages. Triumph. That's the full sweep. So you're going to tell me you succeed. So the the doors slam open. Yeah. Can I'll describe to you quickly what you see as that happens. You can tell me after that. All right. The Grand staggers out as if he was pressed up against the door, turning towards you as he does, and his face turns right up towards the camera, big eyes bulging out, black eyes, as he goes, Grrr! Nice. With a silent death scream, as you can see the life draining out of his body. Oh. Like, just his veins are, are sticking out of his skin, and he's staggering backwards. And you see the little uh, blonde girl in there with her hand out as if she had just. Oh my gosh, we're rescuing 11, you guys. Who are we yeah. saying? Oh <laughs> it's a little 11 y. Yeah. Uh, and he staggers a couple steps away from the camera, twirls again, and collapses dead oh. on the ground, his prod flashing out. And the girl steps forward, and the darkness seems to come behind her out of the uh, open cargo bay. And her, she's doing a very eleven thing. Her head is down. Just oh, <sighs> throw okay. waffles at her. You also now you have advantage in a. Did we break triumph. waffles? Okay. No. You got the door Dang. open. Yeah. My triumph is going to be that at the same time that I open the blast doors, I also activate multiple lights within the room. So I have a lot of lights nice. that turn on, beaming directly down onto me. So I look <laughs> like just this glorious Whoa. angel who's just opened the Gloria door. Gloria is all about me. Gloria. Okay, so. Nice sights. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So uh, when she, you know, when you're coming out of somewhere dark and your eyes are adjusting, and she can tell just from like a quick, quick glance, that I am clearly Good light as opposed to the, where she is in the dark. That's huge. And you also had an advantage. But that's, if you want to spend that, but that's fine. Now, we'll roll that all into the one. The advantage is that I didn't say anything about the lights, but the lights did a bit. The, that's great. <laughs> the, she stands, the girl stands there, like the darkness starts to roll out towards your feet, and it's almost like a, a return to that moment where when you first encountered her in the grass just mm -hmm. sprung up towards you. Yeah. And it's like the darkness and, is... And we, she and I have seen each other face to face before. Oh, yeah. So... The darkness is about to touch your, like, toes, and you just can imagine it for a moment, wrapping up your leg, and then it stops as the lights <laughs> come on, light you up, and she stands there overawed for a minute. And then she, her face just goes limp, and she crumbles, falls to the ground. Okay, I'll run up and... Not like... Like I dropped, like unconscious in a painful way. Yeah, and just, just crumples to the yes. to the ground. So I'll a swoon. Yeah, <laughs> I'll run up. A swoon. Um, I'll quickly remove my trench coat and wrap my trench coat. And I'll, I'll ask you what you're wearing underneath that in one second, Sam. Yes. 
What do you do? So there are or mysterious stranger. Uh, the two med troopers are outside. Where? They are firing through the door. It has not. They have not entered yet. All right. Other than that, there is the cargo thing is open, and you know that um, the rooftop. There is a shuttle that is still incoming. What else would you guys know? Oh, now that the doors are open, I should bring this up now as well. You remember when you generated that threat before when you're hacking into the system? Mm -hmm. You start to see a sea through that open door of red and blue. Oh. Police lights coming oh my in. Gosh. My <laughs> pension. <laughs> my pension. <laughs> now, Sam, not to up the stakes too Never much. Never knew that. Um, how far is the girl from me? Right nearby, if you want it to be. All right. I want to grab her. I think this is definitely the part where we just speed is the better part of Valor. Mm. We've got what we came here for. We don't need to keep shooting at people. Let's grab the girl and run. So I want to grab the girl. You run. grab the girl. You're, oh. you've wrapped her in your trench coat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's unconscious. She's nice easy to pick up. Yeah, <laughs> like, wrapped a up like a little burrito. Nice a little easy. 11 burrito. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's all burritoed up. Uh, so what are you wearing underneath? We, we haven't ever talked about that. You're always just wearing a trench coat. I know. In game. What does she what? have? Anything? Know. You don't have to show anything mm. at the table. That's fine. Because mm. I assume you're wearing nothing underneath that. Exactly. <laughs> in character. Yes. What, is, what does Gloria have? Oh. Uh, she has on a very typical, you know, sort of housewife dress. Like you would see a 50s housewife wear. Aha. Uh -huh. Pearls? Uh, no, no, no pearls. We would, have, we would have seen that. We would have we? seen them, yes. But um, they probably uh, the so the two of you are next to each other for a moment. Gloria and the mysterious stranger in mm -hmm. very sugar floral, and spice. A floral print with a couple polka dots on it. Very sugar and spice for a moment, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. She calls out. He calls out. It calls out. The mysterious stranger calls out. Mm -hmm. It's time to run. The door has stormtroopers in front of it, and they're incoming uh -huh. officers. But I like the notion of, um, yeah, so I want, There's, uh, if we're taking her, well, I want to go back through the vent. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Back the way we came. Okay. Sounds good. Can because uh, this, K8 this quick shooting. hoist her up back into the vent? Of course. I mean, we hoisted up, so aren't we just going down? Oh, did we? Wait, did we? I remember oh, we, were, we had the word boosting up. people up. Yeah, Once in my mind, it's like a vent like that, uh, all right. where you've got to so like boost up and then boost up down, and then, yeah. and then drop down. Yeah, all right, yeah. Up yeah. Up yeah. I'll, I'll work like yeah. an escalator and just. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sounds just good. People up. up. So those med, the med troopers are going to see where you guys are going because it's just kind of a smallish room. Yeah. So I'm gonna going to lay down some suppressive some fire. Like I'm going to lay down some cover fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I also don't be a hero. You only have forty-five things. No, this is. I already made my speech. This is not a hero day. We stopped this. I also happen to have. Uh, some stun grenades. Ooh. Oh, oh some I would like to stunt grenades. Oh. Toss. Yes. I mean, stun grenades at their parkour, parkour. Parkour. Okay, go and make a ranged light roll. That's an important roll. The rest of you guys can get out as, as, as they are laying down suppressive fire. What's the uh, just uh, gosh, two purple. <laughs> Um, so when Dark Side Points makes out a purple and a red. Monkey, mm. you monkey! You're we monkey. have three light Give me the. Though. Do it again. Yeah. Right. Do it again, do it again! Yes, gladly. You pull out your stun grenade, hit the button. Whoop! Med troopers. Choo 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 choo! Eat stun. Oh, oh no! Reroll. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> come on, come on. Big money, no whammies. No whammies, no whammies. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. This is your day! Yeah! Oh! Do you know what I? You guys, I have a that. They do. They listen to me. Yeah. More despairs. <laughs> no. They're there. No. I think yeah, it's been. Oh. I think it's been. Fine. Oh, I found it. It's right here. It's on the other side. Oh yeah. This is. Uh, hey. This is. Uh, here it is. <laughs> Not rolled. What did you oh. roll? Tom, give me the give me the result. What'd you get there? Uh, so I have I I have uh, a one success one? with the triumph mm -hmm. and one threat. That's not so much. Uh, so you let fly <laughs> with the triumph, stun grenade. No big deal. What happens? Describe it. So you succeed. The yes. stun grenade goes off between the two med yes. troopers. And the triumph? The triumph is is that this stun grenade was uh, secretly... Uh, like a, a real grenade. A, a <laughs> plasma grenade. And it blows both of the med troopers instantly into vapor. Okay. Great. <laughs> take, take one strain. I will. I accept this. As you're like, I'll throw this stun grenade at them, and you're like, whoa! Yeah. Whoa! That was not the stun! Whoa! I was in my backpack the entire time. That was time. not what I thought I was doing. 
That, I've just been sitting on that for days. <laughs> yeah, throwing it around you for it was remember, literally like, bouncing off the wall. Like, Look at this funny old grenade. Doing the old baseball. Um, the wall. I wish that the department would have upgraded these grenades to something decent. <laughs> yeah. Come back to and the moment. Did. And they did. Come back to the David moment. Just Bowie. two Can't sets of stormtrooper boots just sitting there, just <laughs> like, or not even his, just clean cut off, yeah. as if he just took the people away. Yeah, and just a little, just, little bit of they stuff. They dimension door. Yeah, dimension door out there. Out through the gate, or out through the vent, through the back. Or you could go through the front door at this point. Yeah, you're not I guess terrified by that. Yeah, cars that way. Outside. Everyone declared. else is out through the vent. Not the, yeah, yeah, not the cop together. way. Right. Cops out yeah. that way. So, no uh, cop this way. As <laughs> right. you guys come start, as you guys, you climb out, and you're like, great, perhaps this is great. Right. However, mm -mm. it's not great. Cops all about. At this point, wherever you guys look, you can see them coming from the horizon, coming at the distance. The APB, people from all around. Multiple precincts closing in on your guys' location. You're starting to pick up on the, the cop chatter, too. Uh, it, looks, it looks bad. It looks like they're going to get you. The girl in your arms. The very gentle weight. It's easy to carry her. And it feels You can feel the warmth of her through the trench coat. Um, something, that was your trench coat, right? Mm -hmm. the, something does slip out of the pocket, however, as you're holding it. <laughs> Falls to the ground. What's like, it wouldn't be a necklace or something like that normally. What would be oh. something that Cindy, yeah, would like be oh. closely associated with? Oh, um. Cindy's little like monocle? <laughs> yes, Cindy's monocle. Her little like screw on thing? Oh, yeah, not, yeah. not monocle, I always think of that on R2D2, his little spout. Yeah, yeah, they want to, it would be yeah, like, it's a, like a lens. Oh, it's like, it's a, it's a special like filtered lens. So it's like her. Um, I replaced is it like it her neutral density met. filter. Yes. <laughs> you remember that fondly. Mm -hmm. It falls out of the pocket of Gloria's trench coat. <gasps> oh! The... Uh, Wait, I am sorry. What is uh, happening? Really quickly. Um... You see it. You can reach it before she picks it up. <laughs> There's no question. There's only one way she could have that. Oh my gosh! Gloria, why do you have that? I don't know. I don't know how that got there. I don't know. How, I don't know. How, why are you looking at me? I don't know how that got there. There's only one way, reason a droid would give up a lens like that, and that's an affair. Is where my mind went. You're Out exactly that. right. <laughs> it all crystallizes in a moment. Gloria, thank you, chat, for deciding on who is cheating on who. <laughs> Thanks, chats. I appreciate it. Gloria has been cheating on you behind your back. Mm -hmm. For years. My God, it makes sense now. All the all the golf trips she told me to go on. <laughs> <laughs> the oil baths. All the oil baths. <laughs> I don't know. You. That's why my favorite color is red. While they're red. all distracted, I want to take the girl and get on my speeder bike, and I want to try to outrun the cops. That sounds the good. The speeder bike so outruns like cops. Speeder bike's pretty good. That sounds good. You literally do machines. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you wondered why she was so, so good. Have a cop drama lot. <laughs> you can speak binary when you took drugs. <gasps> Holy shit! Because I've heard it so much, I learned it by osmosis. Yeah. They show, you, That's a word got a real... for it. Is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Osmosis. You know your way around machines. We definitely established that. Oh. Oh. You know how to get them working. Tram. Because machines know who. Yeah, how and to you know how to move working. all of the joints. Well, but, the, oh, oh, it all comes you, together now. I when also you shared let, your little saying that Cindy said, I knew, I remembered. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my you goodness. You dropped that hint, which I liked. I love this. We have the cuts back to like all of these moments, yeah. and we see them all in montage, I, I oh, and then right back, and then a tight onto your face. As the stranger is, as the stranger is disappearing around the corner with the trench coat. <laughs> my photoreceptor is kind of dim. You do hear, oh. you do hear at that moment, however, a sharp whistle. It's Cindy's whistle. I don't know how she knew she would be here. You guys would be here tonight. I also let chat decide. Z is just standing there, mouth open, <laughs> like forgotten all of the danger of this. Is like. Dios mios. <laughs> this is right, the best yeah. scandal ever. Rolling around the corner into view from Cindy's private transportation pod. Cindy Mobile. Cindy mm -hmm. has a Cindy Mobile? Cindy's got a little hoverboard that Cindy that's, can wheel onto. Well, she's got to do. She's got to do groceries and stuff. Wait, what is she? What is her job? Where does she go? Like, he, don't ask me. Ask her. Ask her husband. I. What? She well, had a lot of hobbies. She doesn't have a job. <laughs> oh. Why? You have been supporting spouse. this droid while well, yeah. it has cheated Ask on you. Spouse. That's even worse. I know. That uh, is even worse. <laughs> oh, my little red hot cinder. 
comes around the corner. So I also let chat decide. Well, you so don't even like try and what? hide it at all. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, just what's got, the point now, I right? So it's all out of the oven. I haven't seen her in a really long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been hours. <laughs> no, no. I was like, when was the last time that you and Cindy? Well, we've been busy on this crazy for a case. Days. So I was at the department last night. I yeah. didn't go home. No. Mm. That's uh, true. I didn't that go is to true. my home either. Wait a second. Uh, didn't you come in late? I, yeah. the Uba, the burnout, came in first and had coffee before you even showed up. It all adds up. Yeah. I also let Chad decide on if... if Chad has made good decisions today. If Cindy is about to reveal to you whether or not it's over. <gasps> the love is Chat. gone. The love is gone. Chat. And Cindy's ready to go and start a new life. With someone else. <laughs> oh, or, man. or Chad could decide... If it was the biggest mistake Cindy's ever made in her whole oh my life. Gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. And it, was, it was a meaningless fling. Mm. And they'll never see this other person again. Cut them out of your life totally. You're you... the droid for them. Chat. Chat, what did you do? Chat Z just to get the popcorn. Wait, were, you, were you. Stranger's you gone. Get, is it a Gloria hole? <laughs> that is. Oh. Rude. That is your wife. That is her Your name. spouse. Well, it is glory. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's her. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's exactly yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That was a glory. Oh, I thought that's you were Cindy Holt. Yeah, that's good. It's fine. Cindy! <laughs> Cindy comes rolling out, <laughs> whispering in a way that you, she knew you'd be here somehow. <laughs> Probably the tracking device. Cindy yeah. realizes and expresses to you through beeps and whistles that it was a huge mistake. <laughs> oh. It's still in love. And maybe more now more than ever realizes what it had in you. It used to look at you as just a beat up cop who was never going to achieve anything. Coming home, not willing to talk about the day, new dents. Who wouldn't be attracted to a put together? Ash all up in you. Who wouldn't be attracted to? We wanted to retire and open a repair shop. As as you guys are are hashing that out. Would you be open? The stranger being (laughs) open. (laughs) <laughs> Just saying, I am very good at repairing things. I could get you into tip-top no. shape, and there's no telling what the three of us could do together, okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, there that might is, be some it's glory That's intriguing in a droid-droid human relationship. Yeah. I'm just saying, thinking. just think I on ship it. it. You don't have to. It's shipping it. Wow. I didn't get it that way. I don't, don't, don't want to take away chat agency. No, chat shows. No, no, chat. Yeah, no, chat, chat made, chat made its choice. It was you a huge mistake. And chat is. You have been kicked to the robot curb. 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 It just curb. Shoot, it looks right at you <laughs> and gives you. To the, this nerd has been kicked to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I love it. I love it. The R5 unit rolls up towards you. Yeah. Uh, Gloria and turns its head and just lets out a <laughs> the longest mournful whistle, whistle and you realize you'll never see Cindy again. I won't. And Cindy rolls along the ground back over to uh, K8 and extends a little grabber claw and just hugs your leg. I, I, I move from her grasp as she reaches for me. Really? Oh, what? Yes. I move past her to you. No forgiveness. Oh. And I say, go. Take Cindy's car, all of you. I will take the other one. And I start moving towards the cruiser. Well, <gasps> as you guys prepare to leave. Uh oh. Oh, nuts. Oh, here he is. This guy. Here he is. No. This is why I bring this jacket. Insistently, <laughs> leaning insistently against your Insist- your red speeder bike, which you guys somehow got here on. Well, we we had actually talked about um, we two and toed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. uh, she was on the back of my bike, and we were joking about it. There's a hole. Mm-hmm. There's de- I for do sure like a the whole color thing. red. Go to the tape. Everyone, <laughs> I believe you. There's one more. There's just one more saying. audience. Thing oh, this actually, in, this way. actually feels very <laughs> right. nice, right? Oh yeah. my gosh. And I think there's one person who hasn't opened up their their letters Uh-oh. yet. Oh gosh. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Leaning against your bike, none other, in his black no. high neck trench Not coat. Him. Oh, this bugger. Agent Ballin, no. played by Jimmy Durante, yeah. standing there with his cigar chomped down in his Jimmy mouth. Durante. Well, 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 looks who he's got here. A little help us. You brought the girl all the way here to me. Thank you. If you just hand her over, that's, uh, we can forget about this whole little situation. I do think we're about to forget about this whole situation. Perfect. Do the math. 
Okay. And I just want to pull my blaster out and start. Oh! Uh, as, you, as you're doing that, you know, your girl starts no. to tremble physically. Yeah. At, like, the sound of his voice. Yeah. And we are going to end the sound of his voice. <laughs> and, and, and as she sees him, oh, darkness, darkness. And she, she you just hear barely whisper, two shadows, is all he says. That's right. I don't go anywhere without my shadows. You do the math, oh, he says. Yeah. And he, uh, I still like the math. Mm-hmm. Well, what uh, what uh, is shadows? Is, you know, two, Do they get hit uh, by blaster rifles? Is all I need. Is that like Nagiri guards or something like that? Yikes! Two, uh, uh, I guess there's like a, a powerful floodlight <laughs> snaps on as that ship that was arriving to take people away is kind of circling around the side of the tower now. Huge bright spotlight shining down on you from behind, casting your guys' shadows out, hitting him. And his shadow pulls out at an X behind him, like <gasps> casting two you shadows. Give it to us. And it begins to waver, the shadows do. In that same way, you notice shadows wavering around the uh, ambulance. Oh, yeah. And emerging into the dark, uh, emerging into the light, two weird aliens. You can't really see them at first, they just seem to be blackness, like his shadow separating from him. They're hunched, they're about six and a half feet tall fangs that jut out from underneath these like big reddish eyes all covered in short fur um, if anyone's trained in xenology is that, is that nope. on the list yep not on my list is so that no, one of the no ranks is no ranks in it but... then you don't know what these things are but they are part of star wars canon lore right. and i've got their stats right here uh yeah well i guess you could say there's three of us <laughs> against the four of you Oh, and uh, one more thing. He says, pulling uh, a pair of goggles over his eyes. We see better in the dark. And then, uh, I don't know. How's he going to turn off the lights in Coruscant? He, uh, um, yeah, night. solid point. Since I'm standing next to... Um, we don't know your character's name. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing except, yeah, my eye color. Um, I don't know why I was interested I'm in this standing next to thing. you and you have the girl in your arms, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, can I, since she the girl is still wrapped hand. in my trench yeah, coat, she's still uh, can I just toss my data pad with like the flashlight into the trench coat for her so that she has light, has light wrapped inside we'll the We'll see if you have a chance. Okay, yeah. I like that. If you want okay. that to be your turn. Sure. Okay, and then everyone else will roll initiative. Okay. Waves his arm and the lights on the uh, incoming craft turn out, leaving you guys in total darkness. You lose sight of, so there, there are probably agree. lights out there, but it's like, Okay, it's it's like Coruscant's got to have light pollution like crazy. Maybe he's got like a shield generator. That's like, like I can see that I can see that we like it's like the change from very bright to dark is yeah. gonna be. Let me blinded. let me paint this this scene a little more. This is uh like the warehouse district. If you were up in like Van Nuys or you're driving down along where they have like those tra- railroad tracks which run mm-hmm. between all the warehouses, it's like that. This is a, a cargo landing platform. So there's lights, you see them all in the distance, like twinkling right. stars, you see the red and light lights lit. closing in. But this particular area, not brightly lit. And with those lights out, there's, so there's enough like dim light to see each other by, but you can hear things moving in the shadows. Okay, Clary, right. before I came on at the end of last episode, you I, said that I had goggles. I did, did electro binoculars. Electro binoculars, do they do oh, against dark? 100% they do. Ooh. They have many things. I want to flip them down. Yes, okay, yes, they totally were, are flipped down, yeah. electro binoculars. Pay attention to the thing that GM tells you before the game starts. <laughs> Sam getting points. Guys, I need everybody to roll an initiative check. In this case, it's going to be your, oh. I'll take cool because we're cool customers. Cool or vigilance, whichever is better. Roll that up, no purple on this. Just roll that up and count your successes. That determines who gets to go first. And then I'll roll one. just for order purposes, even though we're getting <laughs> All right. Um, advantage. So that's zero successes. Yeah. I love it. Guys. I, I kind of the other thing. <laughs> nope. Um, two advantage. Two no success successes. and one advantage. One success. Great. I'll actually spend for a reroll on this. Oh, you really do wanna, have I a few. I really want to go. Roll it. Oh, we got three on the table still. Oh. Th- three, three successes. successes. I get first. So how many successes again? Three? Three, two, one and zero. Hey, all right. So I can <laughs> see in the dark. Out. There Sam are three start. aliens. There are three, two aliens and a jerk. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Two oh. aliens and an imperial agent. Yes, that's right. A like different pronunciation. Same meaning. Okay, yeah. very, yeah. very good, very good. Um, and they are all clustered <laughs> around my Currently, speeder bike. Yes, they've stepped Because no yes. one has moved yet. Correct. I shoot the bike. Mm. I approve of this. With the goal of blowing the bike up, I assume. Yup. Your bike? <laughs> Yes, nice. I shoot my own bike. I'm taking bike. these guys out. Hey, we know where the guy lives. It is a custom lives. bike. You actually paid a ton of money. Bike. Oh, for sure. A... You're very attached to it. Ooh, I I'm like very it. attached to it, which is in order to hit this thing. In order to hit this thing and blow it up. Yeah. That's going to be a fairly difficult roll. Yeah. It's a lot harder than just I'm hitting. I'm going to spend it. my boost. Oof, but let me sure. yeah. let me interject that a criminal such as herself. Yeah. Having a Themselves, custom bike like made probably did it in order to do custom-y things like insert bombs. Or I would know precisely where to shoot it. If you guys want to spend a life side point to insert, insert that back into the narrative that you would built a self-destruct mechanism into your bike, I'll I really that. like I'm juicing down. this roll because yeah. if we yeah. can just like, yeah, like completely it. murk them, that would be ideal. I like it. It would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll make it a little easier then. It's just going to be three purple. Okay. I'm going to spend a dark side point, or do you want to spend your last remaining light side point to turn I one of those green I would really video? like to do that if that's okay with yeah, that. Mm -hmm. it. Cool. If you do, if all turn... these turn dark, I'm just going to say I'm going to add a little extra darkness as the dark side becomes dominant to the game. Dang it. Dude. I feel like then maybe we don't do that. I feel like he's... I, I feel just like a that's little. a little. Just a little. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't yeah. know he was going to do yeah, that. We can I actually we series reroll this. <laughs> yeah. Look at his face. I feel he's like, like so innocent. I'm just an innocent <laughs> guy. Just, just, I, my yeah, goal is to have a fair a game. Little darkness guy. Dude, I'm, then I'm going to spend a dark side mean. point to turn one of those purple into a red. Ah. That is your roll. All right. Um, we have to light the point says Jimmy Durant. Okay, so we do that. Then it's not all dark. And then I can spend one to... No, nope, no, that's why I asked you first. You oh, have okay. to decide cool. before I do. Great. Otherwise, it just no, goes legit, back legit, legit, legit. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Get him, boys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's a triumph. triumph. And it's a failure. Yep, it is a failure, but it is a triumph. So okay. you do yeah. not detonate your bike when you hit it. That is the failure. That's what you're trying okay. to do, and that fails. However, okay. you have a triumph, so something else amazing happens. Yeah. Do you have advantage or threat on it? Um, one advantage, it looks like. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so okay. something slightly advantageous helps you out, happens. Helps me to facilitate my triumph, even though I don't do that. Yeah, so it doesn't explode. You yeah. shoot the bike or you miss the bike, but it does not explode. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you idiot. All right. Get um, it. I, he does have a cigar in his mouth. That is... I do have a cigar in my mouth. True. So, but um, I think what I do is... I miss the bit that explodes, but I hit the tire of it, so the bike flips and crushes them. Not all can three. Can I get that? Not, not all three. Well, I'll, I'll let you I can get all of, three anyway. I'll let you choose one of the three to crush. Jerk boy. Jerk boy. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> missed. Uh, <laughs> crush. Yeah, you missed. Crunch. Yeah, so it hits the bike. I guess the the. It wouldn't oh, have yeah. wheels, but it would have yeah. grab yeah. engines or something. Yes, yeah, so that actually makes more sense. You get you bust one grab engine, it overcompensates up into the air. Yeah. And that's mm. how it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You miss. Crunch. And then comes down, wham, right onto him. Did you ah! have that little bit of like a Looney Tunes moment of, you missed. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And then the bike just comes down, wham, slams on him. Ah! Uh, and you seem crushed beneath the vehicle. Yes, yes. These two shadowy aliens, however, you do not see. Dang it. You're next. Um, so I threw... And the girl is, uh, you're cradling yeah. her in one arm and did a shit. Yeah, because I had a light flat, like, I don't have right, a right, right. I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, so I, I turned the I light on on my, on my data pad and gave my good. data pad to the... Oh, that's right. That was your turn. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah. good. That screws me over as well. Yay! So you, you uh, <laughs> instead of her freaking out yeah. and, and losing it on you, um, you could. There's a, and the light turns on, and you can just see this glow coming Aww. from inside of the uh, of the trench Aww. coat. Kate, these oh, things no. are moving around. Okay, they're moving you can, around. You can just hear something, but you have no idea where they are. I'm gonna do my best to try and track the shot, but make sure I. Don't ever cross the horizon where my friends are, or where I think they are. Clever. Ooh, your wife's right next to you as well. Your I don't care about that. That's fine. Okay. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very concerned noises. <laughs> I just want to draw my hand down. That's weird. So <laughs> <laughs> well, making it so that's an attack roll, basically, yeah. right? So range light, I think, for you. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna need two red to hit one of these things. My God. 
They are. Yeah, turn a boost. Boost. And uh, can you see in the dark? I don't think you can. No. So no, take no, no. a black setback on that as well. Take the girl. Get out of here, quick. Do, oh, do, that's do. very Here's good. Some math. Yeah. Some math. <laughs> uh, if anyone wants to make a xenology check, I will let someone do that on their turn to figure it out. But yes, go ahead. Three successes. Three successes. Be Ooh, <laughs> how much damage, damage you do? Ten. Ten. You hit hard. Can you describe how you get that blaster out and nail this thing as it moves invisibly past you? Sure. I'm, I'm using yeah. just as, as best I can the silhouette of the lights behind. So I'm looking for absence of light. Mm. So you're looking at like the star, the, nice. the cop lights flashing in the background. Mm -hmm. and then... So as I see, oh, okay, That's the right. lights disappear here. Oh, yeah. Bam. Good idea. <laughs> you hear it is what you hear. And then the shadow moves past you, Umba. Um, what I would like to do is do a perception roll to like, I want to like perceive where they are. Okay. Uh, and indicate to my, to the next person who goes, which I know they're going to go before anyone else does. But in fact, should they go before me? I rolled no. Oh, successes. I didn't even roll. So yeah, they'll go now. That sounds good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Darn you and your fairness. I know. <laughs> you hit one of them. Obeying rules. Uh, you are suddenly struck from behind. Well, we'll find out if you're struck from behind or not. Three yellow against one purple. As this thing comes in. That is not good. <laughs> and for me, probably. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, that is really, really not good for With you. With a triumph. With a triumph for me. So they're coming after Kate. But you hear the rattling, you hear like the, the shaking of the air right behind you, and you jerk out of the way just as this hand comes down. You, you dive to the hand? side. Your <gasps> spouse was not so quick. Oh, no, yeah, no. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> as no. R5's, the top of R5's little red head pops oh, up and off, oh, no. sparks shooting out for a moment, and just Nobody by the flashing me. illumination, <laughs> you see it kind of like. Slowly karate chopping through oil spraying up from the thing. Oh. <sighs> oh this my is gosh. really sad, you guys. I can't believe I missed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. Oh, and I have one advantage, so I'm going to give my so the other guy a boost as he seizes your distraction to come up from behind you and try and thrust his hand through your chest. Okay. These guys are super handsy. Mean um, with their then hands. They do. So yeah, one that one is a success yeah. with, a bunch of with, with a lot of advantage. Uh -oh. So you take He's taking advantage of me. It's just Ooh. eight points of uh, eight points of damage. Damage? No, eight okay. points of damage. However, it is a crit so with that many advantage. So it does Rock drive route. its arm right oh. into you. Do you have a two D ten you can roll? Yes, I do. Uh, but I do have hard headed. When staggered or disoriented, is that gonna depends on the, the crit. Okay. Let's see how much damage it does to your body here. Oh. 84. Okay, and they have ability, they add 20 to oh, their what critical yeah, roles as they are trained murderous oh, assassins. So that's, that's 100, too many. That's, that's 104 many. on one blow. Yep. Oh. I like that a lot. Ay, ay, ay. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm not making it out of here. You guys. so sadistic, David. I feel oh. like you've decided that before this. Yeah, I do I feel like that like, like, stings with your character. A well, but there's like also, like, you know. Your wife, who's just, just about to recommit yeah. to you, yeah. like, we can, we can die is gone. Together. Yeah, we never had a chance there's something to, like, really you know. Your there's, oil can listen. mingle in the after this life. <laughs> we, ha we never had a in chance. It's, it's coarse. It's, oh. It's, no. oh. it's so the, noir, though. The, yeah, the oil mingles. The concerns are too dirty, so coarse. Amount to a hill of beans As you turn and pivot towards your, your wife or spouse, who's just lost her top. Your right. gun arm drops for a second, and that's when the other one comes up from behind you and <laughs> right Cindy. through the shoulder. Oh. The entire arm is 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 severed from your body and drops off onto the ground. More sparks shoot out. Ooh, but can the hand land in Cindy's hand? <laughs> oh, Cindy's yes. little pincher. Is yeah. That what happens? Yes. The, the the gun clatters off. Hand drops down into the pincher. You've got one black setback on all rolls for the rest right. of this. Mm -hmm. And Keep this. anything that takes two arms, you can't do. So it'll be. Rub it on my face. <laughs> the two handed people. Yeah, that's right. Well, start Should with. have started with more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Umba. That was an option. Yes. I would like to roll. Oh, and then the guy on the ground is who's pinned beneath your hover bike is just going, Aah! Jimmy Durant, he's writhing in pain. Mm, he can continue. I like he that. He can do it. 
And so I want to roll a, a perception you can, check. You have data pad or calm on you? Um, I have a calm. Whatever it, you're using to light your death stick. Just so you know, it, your, your message app buzzes. Yeah. You have a very important message. Okay. You don't have to check it now. It, 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 take your turn to check it. But... comes early. <laughs> <laughs> That Walk apartment, away. That apartment on the lava planet. It oh. might. It might yeah. reflect. Oh, it might yeah. be your pension. It might reflect your pension, and it might be a choice check I had to make. Check. Could be a positive outcome. Could be a negative outcome. Oh. Okay. It's your turn. Uh, so my 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 plan is to, uh, just, like I have uncanny senses, guys, because I'm just like really awesome. Mm -hmm. Super. You've been on so the like, for a long time. So I want to just like quiet myself. And like sense, and I want, and I want to use my perception check to locate one of the aliens and say to the next person shooting, like, right there. Mm. Pinpoint them. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, just two purple. Uh, Kenny sensing sounds pretty good. Actually, normally that'd be opposed by this freaking stealth, which is through the roof. Mm -hmm. It's called two red. Two red. Okay. Well, my perception is two yellow and a green. Ooh. And okay. I get a boost from my uncanny senses. Wow. You're glancing around through the dark, trying to see what's going on. To the left, to the right, what is happening? Where are they? Success? Mm, that is... You do, right? No, oh, yeah. no, um, there are two. Can I, I'm going to use one of the table yeah, yeah. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. Do you want to spend a life side point to make your roll it better? Ooh. Uh, no. Okay, no? roll it up. All right, then we will save that. Success. Maybe I... There's one guy left? Or both, of both of those things are alive. Okay. Yeah, one got one, oh, one, one, one got go. nailed. Okay. Though. Yeah. Um, Big bloody wound on him. Yeah. You're gonna have at least one uh, success. That, yeah, I've got one success and just a success. This is just hmm. on that yellow. Oh, okay. Big success. success. One success? Guys, I wanna tell you something. All night tonight when I whispered to my dice, I've told them exactly what to roll and then they have rolled it. Ooh, I'm magic. Creepy. I'm magic. But this is a success with an advantage. They're they're vanishing all around you. You cannot. Super where difficult. are they? And then you just remember your cop training. Yeah. And you start. I don't know. Listening to the footsteps or something like that. And you spin and go right there, just as this landing craft's lights that are flashing red still, as it like I guess kind of comes in. It's illuminating the blackness around you guys every now and then with these flashes of light, and you point one out right as the flash goes off. You guys see red and black silhouetted against the darkness, the bleeding one, yeah. who you nailed before. All right. It's your turn. Yeah. I do want to point out the guy who crushed beneath your bike yeah. and bleeding out is the only person who can clear your names. Oh, well, that's kind of If he dies and know. the cops show up, it's going to look, it'll be hard to clear your name if you can. Wait, but he doesn't seem like he's interested in clearing yeah, your name. Yeah, plus he's a Oh, he's certainly order. not. Mm -hmm. so. He's certainly not, but he's crushed beneath. He's being crushed beneath the motorbike. I'm just throwing Somebody that out. Okay. Okay. Convince him. We're gonna think about that. Yeah. Also, I this mess. Unfortunately, it is completely immaterial to, to me. You. <laughs> and I am the one who's going. Now. And you have the girl in your arms. Yeah. They're in trouble, but you also have the girl. You don't have your hover bike. No, but I do have. Too much because charge. I'm a jerk. <laughs> the Cindy mobile. All I you have to do is push. Thing. All you have to do is push the rest of the droid off of it and jump on. Yeah. Oh no, she wasn't riding it. She, she wasn't. Was she's been sliced it's off. It's right over there. I go take this Indian mobile and I try um, to get away what, again. What message am I reading, by the way? My oh. super important message. You're gonna have to take a moment at the table to read it, but we'll get there in a second. Yes, you can jump yeah. on the Cindy mobile. Yeah, my first, my first priority above everything else in this entire world is getting this girl to safety. You don't know anything about this person. Nope. You don't know. You don't know her name, and the chat know. shows I know a Sam's something. motivation. Do you? I do. And I think the reason that I know is that you want to get away with this person so bad. Do you? Mm -hmm. You yeah. have secrets as well. So the stranger. I don't have any secrets. The stranger. I've got a pension. You do have a secret. <laughs> I don't know. But it didn't come in because you guys didn't have to go it's up so anywhere. It's a secret. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, it's that's a secret. That's right. You guys kept it. We never rode the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. I would have had a tough time if we'd gone up that elevator. You <laughs> take the you take the girl, you leap onto the Cindy Mobile, which is just a large hover platform. Yeah. It rises up into the air, and you can you're just gonna leave the group, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should have asked my name. <laughs> um, no, we're not very polite. You do have a secret you can leverage. Would you use that at this point? It looks like Sam's character is going to leave the group. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, I, I, cause I came up with something, but I don't know that it's necessarily something that is leverage so much as it's just understanding why Sam's character is escaping. Okay. Do you want to reveal that now? Um, 
Yeah, because I just get to make that up, right? Yeah, so would you want to tell us what your secret in your uh, envelope was? Yeah, so it was, I've been secretly spying on you. <laughs> Darling. As a spy would do. That was, so that was randomly determined amongst everyone at the table. Really? Yes, and it gives That's you... It's weird that it would land on the spy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, who she no, was spying on. It's oh! Not. Unfortunately, it's the person no one knows anything about. <laughs> yeah, well, so... But I do. That worked out great. Yes. What's your character's name? Oh. Um, <laughs> my name is Vi. 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 Perfect. So you have Last blackmail on... You're the only person who knows that. Mm -hmm. None of you guys know that. It's just a strange view. You have something you can blackmail Vi with that will compel... Vi to change their course of action for that round right. in order to avoid that. That's basically you spending your blackmail if you want to spend that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. And I'm it gonna looks like the it. police, based I'm on the clock, are about to close in at any oh moment. Gosh. It is also worth pointing out even if I leave with the girl, you still have the guy right there. Yeah. Woo, Getting crushed. Woo, you guys can have your names cleared. Woo, woo. This can all work out adv mutually advantageously. Vi, I know why you want to take this girl so bad. Everyone will silent as you call out her name. You're stepping onto the platform. What? Oh, I'm glad I can stop calling it the thing. <laughs> you never called me anything no, in the first place. I called it the thing in my head. In my head. We haven't just been searching for a random girl, have we? No, we haven't. She's critical yes. to the rebels. Yes, but she's also your sister. What? And that means that if she does have this force that we think has been lost, that means you could have it too. And they could be after you just like they're after us, but if you stay with us, we could help you. I feel like you really can't that. <laughs> because. Yeah, that's a good point. They're pretty much screwed. Doesn't give Vi a good reason to not get the hell out of there. Well, uh, because I. If you know how important she is to me, then you know why I need to get her to safety right now. That's true. For the rebels, for my family. That's kind of a bomb that you mentioned, Rebels. You, you are disclosing that to yeah. Imperial officers. What? Yeah. Wait, we're Imperial off? Yes. Well, yeah. technically you work for the Empire. You're dirty cops, officers. but yes. 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 Well, I, was, I assumed because, the because of the blackmail that that's that's information true. available yeah. to her, because that's, yeah. yes, I think that's that works. my secret so, and my uh, shenanigan. So, I think that you should go. I agree. Whoa. I think that Get out of here. I should meet up with you later and join the Rebel Force. What? Nice. That's what I think. Is it because you're brokenhearted over your droid girlfriend? Yes. If you're gonna and get we rode on a speeder bike together. And we rode on a speeder bike together, and I feel like we have a connection, and I don't want to lose that one too. If you, if, okay, if you're going to do that, as you see this net of, <laughs> this, this net of police officers closing in, you realize the only chance you're going to have to get out and meet up with her, with Vi later is if you go now and right. leave your friends. Come on, doll. I mean, you're not hurt. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I think we should all go. Wait, wait, wait. Only two people are going to be able to fit on, on the Cindy Mobile. On the Cindy Mobile. She's already had enough people riding. They can go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's winning the night, folks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do it one last time. It's the oh. name of the episode. <laughs> and Yeah, go 
mics are working. Tension. Tension. Working. Is it working? Is it working? Is it time for me to read this message? Which I'm sure you, you should read say. it out loud. <laughs> so this is as as it's just okay. So I think actually, so there's these two alien creatures, and they're gonna have a chance to try and leap at and stop them from departing. You guys can make a move to stop them and help them get away, which will mean your guys are, you know, they get away. Well, it does make sense. It works either way, doesn't it? You have the Imperial You're getting out, you're getting out of the way anyway. Do I read this? I was waiting for the okay from Isaiah. We got a thumbs up. You check your message that arrives to you. <laughs> what did Chef decide so about scared. your attention? Thank you, Chef. <laughs> A short but official letter from the Empire informs you that due to an accounting error, your retirement is effective immediately. Also, your pension is double what you're expecting it to be. I don't have to live on a volcano planet. I can live on the most fancy beach planet. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chuck. However, you are also immediately off the force. You cannot arrest anyone or be involved in any legal action. I'm a civilian. I put my blaster down. I'm just like, oh, no. It's all over the Boomba. The police come in as as. I'm a uh, that sounds, <laughs> it sounds that great. was me. <laughs> it sounds great. Isaiah, are we still okay? We're getting the thumbs up. We're good. Okay, so that's what everything sounds like to you. Oh, you have a rough yeah. end. Ooh, as you are left yeah. by yourself, standing, you, your arm is on the ground with your gun in it still. Cindy. They depart, you can see the glowing light just fades into the distance, leaving you in darkness. Just the flashing of the red. Okay, I, I know two creatures close uh -oh. circling around you. Closer and closer. Oomba departing into the distance, and you just hear the laughing, the space illuminated by the pulsing red light of the landing craft coming down. The police coming in of uh, Jimmy Durante crushed beneath the bike as his life fades out. <laughs> I don't think there's a way you can beat the two of these guys. Oh yeah, there is. Arms. There is. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'd like to hear it. Oh my gosh. Because the police are also about to show up, but let's hear what happens. I roll forward, I grab the gun, I put it to my temple, <gasps> and I pull. Oh. This way they can't get the information as to where, where you guys are going. Went. Oh! And your involvement. I wasn't involved at all. I had a struggle past. You know I've been recording everything. Yeah, of course oh, yeah, you have. You do. So and you cool. have imperial protocol <gasps> built into you anyway, so that they could have forced information. They could have. Oh my god, that didn't get him. And we will pull off as Jimmy Durante blasts his final few gurgling cactus, <coughs> crushed beneath your bike. <coughs> but it's a hollow laughter as he knows what he was really after. God. Has vanished. He goes disappear. He takes what he can get. And we pull out from this scene, my friends, down on just one more sidewalk, one more store in Coruscant. Mm. One more night. As a cop, good cop, bleeds out next to his spouse. Another cop gets a long, turns her back, hits back, his back, their back. <laughs> all of them, except all of them. A new hope ignites. A new love, perhaps, mm -hmm. as you just depart into the greater galaxy. But that's Coruscant, baby. That's noir. And that's where we wrap up our story for tonight as the police craft land all around you and they start drawing that chalk outline. And we continue to pull out and we see them getting the body bag you off. And some real somber, cool song starts playing over the credits as they roll. That's noir wars. Oh, Thank man. you, guys. That's our Thank game for tonight. Guys. That was a fun one. That was great. That was really good. Wasn't that fun? Thank you so much for having me. I mean, it was fun.